am I on the right scene? Okay, cool. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> Make sure Twitch on my end is, you know, and... functional. Mm -hmm. Are you in roll 20? He is not. He said I was. Okay, that's weird. I'm gonna re... I'm gonna... Is it... Is it... Hello? Roll 20? You wanna... Ew. Buddy? Pal? Hello? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think, okay, I think, I think it's popping go. up now. That was weird. And again, this, this website and I do not get along most of the time. You think just because you gave me a couple net 20s last time, I haven't forgotten? I haven't forgotten shit. <laughs> uh... I can't tell how my end is doing. Guess the bit rate hasn't updated yet. <laughs> OBS says I'm green, but Twitch is still iffy at the moment. It'll tell me in a couple of minutes. But if we're good to go. That. <clears throat> okay. So. Last we left <laughs> off, the Brook Gang, amongst other members of the of the prison they were trapped in, went on, uh, was con- it con- I can't speak. Was brought together for a large meeting with, with the Samuel Ashwood, and he gave you the basic rundown that, uh, yeah, this, the people that kidnapped you are up to very much no good. They are known as the Four Hands. Of which... You have heard the term Four Hands before from the crazy guy in the cave. Uh, you're learning that there is four sources of power that... The Four Hands are trying to do something with. Of which you were being sent to Koyomi and off to the capital to a library in order to find out what more information you can about these sources of power. Upon gathering your supplies and traveling by sea 14 hours to the nearest town, you're dropped off in Koyomi. You take a, a night's rest at the local inn before Asira talks to a local man who is with his son the man uh, <laughs> and then they offer basically ask if you would like to escort them to the capital since you're both heading there in this uh, anyway of which you all agreed and helped get the cart situated And with that, you begin your journey in, on the road into the forest. Yep. Oh, and it's still raining. I forgot about that. <laughs> I turned it's the rain. Still raining. I turned the rain off earlier because I was doing stuff, and I just didn't want to hear rain for three hours. <laughs> I get that. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> the I will say the two men, the one, the older one, he calls himself Hoga. Uh, he is five six, black hair, and clearly he's lived in Koyomi his entire life. Always in a good. He just smiles all the time. <laughs> okay. He's just a happy guy who happens to be. Uh, as you learn from looking at the cart and whatnot after helping him situated, he is and he he delves into alchemy. And the other man is his son, who's about five ten, a little bit longer hair, but he doesn't look like he is. Well, it, it, 
Well, he just he just looks like a normal guy. Looks like he has Koyomi blood, but it's clearly not pure Koyomi. Mm -hmm. He's less. <laughs> he seems less open, but he's also like just like worried about his father. <laughs> skittish. Not skittish. And the worry work. But he's just like a. <laughs> but you know, he's just worried. <laughs> but he does have a long sword at his side, so he might have a little bit of training with it. No, oh, I cannot remember who was in the cards or who was. A seer and Oric are um, walking right on the on the sides. Yeah, okay. yeah well, Oric is in the front, a seer is in the back, and then the yeah. other two are just in the back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't remember which side of the cart they're on, but... <laughs> well, I think it says on which one you was saying where. I mean, there's... I mean, like I said before, there's enough space in this little cart. It's a small cart. So there's enough space for... Uh... The, the older man is Hoga, and the, the his son is Liam. Those two are able to sit up front, and two people are able to sit in the back with the supplies, and then... That's it. <laughs> That's all the space there is, so the other two have to walk. <laughs> Oric wouldn't have wanted to sit anyways. He's a little big, I think, either way. Yeah, it, it can fit two regular-sized people or one Oric, pretty much. <laughs> Oric's not going to make everyone else walk. That's not his style. <laughs> you know, it's fair. I mean, a shiro is just, I'd rather walk anyway. It's a little <laughs> easier to keep in motion than get cold sitting still in the rain. Yeah. I mean, it looks like there's like a makeshift tarp put over hot over top, so nothing, you know, gets completely soaked, but yeah. it's not perfect. It's just easier to keep moving. So Aya and Victoria are still getting a little wet. Uh, Better than nothing. Yeah. How fast can this thing move again? Because it is an ox. That's uh, not driving fat. the cart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a dash. Our oxes are not known to be fast, right? They have the yeah, same. No. They have the same movement speed as you guys. Thirty feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're about, you know, raw power. And oh yeah, yeah. And you guys have no problem keeping up. So, <laughs> you know, yeah, it's, it's going. Yeah, it's going to take you a while before you get to the capital. Especially who has the map? Yeah. <coughs> uh, Aya, I think has the map. Yeah, Aya has yeah. the map. Yeah. Remember, uh, you guys are on the map right now, correct? No, you're not. <laughs> not in that screen, no. Remember, yeah, we are. You yeah, are, we are. Remember, you're starting here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're just going all the way up. And That's you have to get here. <laughs> That's going to be like weeks. <laughs> where? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, just, okay, yes, yeah, so we are going up. That's going to take fucking forever. Yeah, because we had to go. Holy shit! <laughs> Oh yeah, we. No, stop! This is worse than my trip to Florida, and I had a car. <laughs> Where were we again? This. Hold on. No, even down. Go down. Keep going. Keep going. We're getting there. You gonna take a left? See where that little port town is? That's all yeah, right down. there. Trip, that's almost five hundred miles. And you can travel that's... twenty-four miles a day. <laughs> We are going to be best friends by the end of this trip. <laughs> <laughs> it's a three-week trip, man. We're going to heart to heart. We're going like, to know everything about this. If they somehow survive towards the end of, end of this adventure, like, <laughs> this is going like, to be a three-week trip. Oh, God. I hope I have stuff I need. I mean, there are uh, towns along the way, so... Towns along the way, but... It, yeah, it's, gonna take, it's gonna take about two and a half. I'll say two and a half weeks. <laughs> it's a journey. 
We're not gonna yeah. go, we're not going to do every single day. <laughs> also, we can get vengeance on these crazy ass cultists. Holy shit! Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. No, what we should <laughs> do is right. when we find them and we catch them, we make sure they have to do something like this. Yeah, break their legs and make them crawl to the capital. <laughs> now you know yes. how we felt. <laughs> So anyway, anyway, <laughs> I'm going to roll a die here. Try not to die, everyone. <laughs> Suffer. <laughs> I die. You guys are in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. A healer. I mean, I got pocket heals. So that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> pocket heals are good heals. I need music my... is all of a sudden yes. fitting, you know, considering the length of this journey is going to take. I need my calculator again. Okay. I will say the first leg of the journey reaching the first town. <clears throat> Completely uneventful. It's just... A lot of forest, the rain does eventually die down. <laughs> After hey, a few frog. days. <laughs> Hi, frog! Hello, frog, sir. But the oh. rain, rain has died down a couple days ago, but she reached the first town. No issues whatsoever. He does suggest that you do. <laughs> he does pay for your rooms for the night. So that, you know, you're not... Trying to put your own money forth. <clears throat> then you begin the next leg of your journey. Now, imagine if there's anything anyone wants to do during this time, let me know. Just. Oh. Orc will specifically be keeping an eye out for different seeds and such that he could plant in his garden. So he's just going to look at whatever he had to hit town, he's just going to look at whatever plants, right? And stuff they got available. Okay. And um, I guess also the teacups may interest him as well for some good tea. Right? <laughs> you know what? Fair. But that'll be it, pretty much. <laughs> I um, think uh, uh, Sierra is just going to kind of be just tinkering with uh, her leather tools as we are moving. Just, you know, small straps, getting them together and Whatnot, making sure that they stay nice and don't rot um, on on Silas. Okay. You know, every so often, just making sure that they are not either too tight, too loose. You know what? Um, she makes a good point there. I will say it would make <coughs> sense since Orc is looking at these plants if he works with his herbalism kit as well along the way. Just to kind of know what he's dealing with in terms of the types of plants he's getting seeds for. <laughs> so yeah, it would it would have come with a book of like basic knowledge on the like, common plants and flowers and whatnot. So yeah, he's trying to figure this whole shit out basically. Yeah, this journey. So, and also empty pages for you to fill it on your own. <laughs> this flower is called a ba ba ba. It's pretty. It smells weird, though. <laughs> Why is my tongue taste funny? <laughs> it's just like, you know, after sniffing this, I thought it was okay, but all of a sudden, the world's getting weird, and, like, the line on the pages drags on, then she, like, drags down off the page. I taste like, purple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I taste purple. I'm not trying to be mean, but I kind of see Oric find one of those plants that give you, like, hulu make you hallucinate. He just accidentally no. buys weed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's like, it was, it was such a, it was, it didn't feel that great at first, but I feel really refreshed now. I'm going to take this with me. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Sorry. So, yeah, it's, it's fine. I was saying if there's anything anyone wanted to do, just let me know. <laughs> then, I have Victoria anything? Oh no, I would just keep a lookout. Okay. 
don't anything think with her. I don't think there's anything else to do at the moment, but then figure out what I'm gonna do with my eyes. <laughs> Get She'll figure that the jar. out. <laughs> <laughs> They're still sitting in the jar that I have. Well, anyway. During this next leg of the adventure, I'm going to need someone to... Who's up front, Orc? I, yeah, I guess that's me. Yep. Yeah. Roll me a perception check. This is a terrible idea, but very well. <laughs> Never mind. I guess it was a decent idea. I mean, it's based off your wisdom, so it should be okay. <laughs> yes, but you know my luck with roll 20. It was nice last time. That's no promise that it continues. Oh, do here. you have the Will Wheaton curse? Maybe. He, I, don't, I don't know what that is, but sure. Will, Will Wheaton is notorious. And no matter what tabletop RPG game he plays, he's notorious for rolling critical or failures. Any, or, or even any board game. Like I said, any tabletop, yeah, any tabletop game, like any game involving dice, he's notorious for rolling ones or twos on his dice. <laughs> I mean, when it comes to physical dice, I do a pretty good job, honestly. No, e even he, even he rolls ones or two on his physical dice. <laughs> That's that. That is a curse. I, I don't have it that bad. I don't have it that bad. Glad I don't have it that bad either. I told you. I told you, right? Like me and technology. For as much as I like it, we don't always get along, and I tend to break things by merely existing. I have a feeling that <laughs> translates into digital dice. So it probably can. Look at me. I think I'm being you great know, or really terrible. Well, I break games. Yeah, but again. Say, your software, I'm hardware. But like, I guess dice are this weird in between. Like, it, it, like, like I'm not even like the curse was so bad. Like on a like after after the episode of Critical Role that he was on, they saged the set that he was the chair he was sitting in. <laughs> I was, the first thing I was like, sage? I'm like, oh no, that kind of sage. Yeah. They get rid of the curse on it, apparently. <laughs> this man's curse, don't let him near the studio again. And then, you know, oh, and, yeah, then, the and, then few, and then a few episodes right later, and then a few episodes later, Talison proceeds to roll seven natural 20s in one session. So, you know. <laughs> if I, I remember, if I remember exactly about Matt Versher saying, like, he, he, he likes Will Wheaton, but he will never touch him. <laughs> he will never touch his dice. <laughs> after, after Will Wheaton makes his first appearance, hey, Matt, you know, I just, I just want to tell you, like, several of the mirrors broke at the same time. Like, I just wanted to tell you, like, you know, it's kind of a bit of a hazard. Maybe we should call the, you know, somebody to clean that out. But he's also like, cursed. So weird. But also, Wolverine's also cursed to uh, always play the villain in certain board games. For some reason, yep. too. Yep. At any rate, <laughs> yeah. continuing on. Uh, continuing forth, you all uh, heading into a more dense area of the forest along this road. Ulrich, as you're moving along, you notice up ahead there's people. Looks like they're moved. There's Figures moving from brush to brush, trying to stay out of sight. Huh. Okay, well, Orc will not make, like, a huge, you know, no like, noticeable noise, but he will say in, like, a lower tone that only people near the cart should be able to hear. That, you know, we may have some friends who are <laughs> uh, <laughs> keeping pace, let's just say. <laughs> like, they're, they're ahead of you. It looks like they're setting up for... And yeah. Ambush. He will relay what he sees to everybody. <laughs> while taking out, just getting his sword ready. <laughs> and shield. I'll be already uh, out, but you know. Xylus is now on the ground walking next to, uh, to Ashira. And Ashira is definitely getting ready to, or has already, um, put a arrow in her bow. Okay. It's just I'm ready to shoot it <laughs> as soon as somebody makes itself known of malintent. Okay. Do you tell the father son duo to halt the cart? 
I guess so. Mm. Yeah, I mean, if they're setting an ambush up ahead, then let's make them come to us. Yeah, if anything, um, as soon as the cart stops, they probably will get out, and I'm, I would say Gothic would have been riding on top of the cart the entire time. It would give us, a, it would give us a few moments to set up a defensive line as well. So, yeah, I think this is a good idea. So you stop the cart. A bit of ways away. And then you begin to get into more defensive positions. And there's no movement at the moment. There's no movement. And it's still raining, right? No, the rain has stopped like days ago. Stopped. And it, uh... and you guys have been traveling for about... Let me double check. <laughs> Can Shira say one thing? Sure. Hey, Victoria, why not try using the bird? Yeah. Maybe, maybe, uh, Gothic. Yeah, that was his name. Uh, can, uh, help us out here. Can I help you, guys a lot. Can, you guys can talk, right? <laughs> <laughs> Victoria? Well, uh, Victoria would have, like, tell Gothic. I can't do voices, so. <laughs> you don't have to do voices. <laughs> Just talk normally, it's cool. Uh, I haven't figured out a command for him, but. She just said go. And Gothic flies off. More or less going to see where. The where they all are. Okay. Out at the moment. And I will remind you, you, if you wish to, you can switch your senses over to Gothic senses, so you can see and hear through Gothic, but not around yourself. If you wish to. Oh, right, familiar. Yeah, she's packed the chain, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. On uh, if Josh flies off, and once he's far enough away, um, she will do that. Okay. So, I can see Victoria's, uh, eyes pretty much glaze over into this, into this, like, this grayish haze after a few moments of Gothic taking off. Should I need a roll for him? Uh, yeah, you roll perception for Gothic. <laughs> I'm just double checking to see if he has anything important regarding his vision. He does not, so it's just a straight perception check. <laughs> so hold on. Hold on. Eight. Oh, well. <laughs> Well, I, it's a roll. It's a roll. So, it's a roll. That's Gothic right. begins roll. to fly around as you command him, and he flies and flies, and you don't see anything. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I guess I'll. That's what I'm gonna have to keep doing for the time being. Yeah, you can, you can, you know, you can still speak through yourself. It's just you can't hear or see through your own body, <laughs> so you don't yeah. know how loud you're being. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, obviously she can't see around herself, so she'll talk to like whoever is in front of her, which is Aya. <laughs> I don't see anyone. Yeah, you don't. See, okay, never mind. Never mind. That was in <laughs> yeah. I got confused for a moment. Can I have an ear out then? You want to listen? Yeah. Sure. Hmm. 
Not 20. Listening around, you can hear the sounds of wildlife. And you can also hear just barely, it sounds like extremely faint whispering ahead. But you're Where not exactly? Just up on the road ahead. But you're not, like, but you're not entirely sure of exact locations. There's too much. I... There's too much bush and tree around. I hear whispering on ahead. I don't know what information on that would give. Or entail for you guys. Well, if they were friendly, they'd just come and say hi, right? So clearly, they, I don't think they're here for our best interest. Clearly. Clearly, if they're mm. hiding, they have worse intentions. One of the tactics we used once was to smoke them out. But that, of course, requires us damaging the nature around us, and I feel that, that may not be the best thing to do. Hmm. We could just blast them. Haphazardly, we can't even see them. Trade fire straight ahead. <laughs> Towards the road? Good. You just see, like, the the arrow is cocked in the way of, I'm just gonna go right over there. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe I hit somebody. Maybe I startled them out. <laughs> Maybe I hit somebody in the foot. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use the sharpshooter feet. I mean, you can't see anyone from where you're standing. She's gonna move ever so slightly just down. And it's just the, well, we'll see what we, what happens. <laughs> uh, hey, Jason, quick question. Yes. Um, so... Is the amount of spells I'm allowed to, like, prepare, is that the same as the amount of spell slots I have for each level? Uh, oh, no. The number of spells you're allowed to prepare per day is your cleric level plus your wisdom modifier. So, what's your wisdom modifier? Eight, uh, four? Four. So, you can prepare a total of eight spells per day right now. Of any, of all levels? like combined? Of all yep. levels, yes. Um, of any combined, level. Yep. Okay, but I the, see. thank but, you. But the two at the top of each spell level that I have that's marked, and I'll say ward domain next to it, those remain prepared, but they don't count against already prepared. I see. Thank you. Yep. Right. Playing a prepared skip spellcaster is fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm not used oh, to yes. this. I'm not used to this. Yeah, it, it's it why I like playing. Twitch. It takes some getting used to. <laughs> Um. Hey, Aya, can you just point me in what direction you might have heard some of the whispering? Am I allowed to point toward the direction could, I heard whisper? You can could, could point in the general direction, yeah. Yeah, she points in the general direction. Alright, I'm gonna just let, let an arrow fly that way. Okay, just... And basically, I want to scare somebody out. <laughs> <laughs> if there's somebody in there, I want to scare them out. <laughs> okay, just roll an attack, I guess. And we'll see what happens. Alright. Because yeah. we don't know if they mean us harm or I'm not. I'm going to laugh when you actually get him, get them right on You them. need both. <laughs> Long bow. Uh, ten, so I'm gonna hit nobody. <laughs> You're not hitting anyone. You, you you let loose your arrow. You can hear it fly through and into the brush, but you don't get a response. Alright. Well, there was no one there. <laughs> Wait a good couple seconds. Alright, well, let's just walk right in, I guess. I am curious, what element type is Xylus today? He is fire. Okay, just checking. 
and he is constantly making clicking sounds showing the sparks in his mouth like I'm happy <laughs> I'm like <laughs> and she was like no don't. no don't you dare start a fire we don't need that Ow. <laughs> He's fire just click fire click fire fire <laughs> <laughs> He's a little pyro, let's be honest. <laughs> He's also still a baby. He's such fire. Also, Christian, so. if you have a question about a spell, just let me know. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of reading through them at the moment, so I've been quick to quiet. Yeah. I figured that's what you were doing, but <laughs> some of the spells, their wording is a little weird or not formatted mm. the best. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just cock another arrow in the bow. Okay. As Ashira's heading down towards. Wait, the sound. are you. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Both. Before you head down, right? Yes. Um, Auric, uh, cast the spell Aid. You can do that, right? Yeah. You, you can. I believe can, that I targets a three few people. Up, up to three creatures within range, so. Yep. Um, he gives the 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 plus five to Asira, Aya, and uh, himself. I guess since he's gonna be up front. Okay, so all three of you have each gain your your hit point maximum increases by five points for the next oh. eight hours. Thirty eight. Got it. I'm just gonna put it in the. Mm, hit point maximum change. For the yeah, time yeah. Please mark. <laughs> I mean, I have your maximum. I'm just putting just plus in case five. <laughs> I'm literally putting plus five in the, in the max health section. Like I, I literally have your maximums marked down just in case you forget. So. <laughs> okay. Plus five. There we go. <laughs> plus five equals thirty-four. I did math. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up to forty-three. With the plus five. Oh so. my god. And she rolled well in the first couple level of hit point increases. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Sarah is gonna head on down. I have falls. Come on, guys. <laughs> we can't I actually just leave the car, right? Vic Victoria still can't see or hear you. <laughs> or decides to stay behind just to help guard the cart while you guys do. <laughs> oh, you might want to wake. You might want to wake up, uh, Victoria, because she. I don't think she knows what's going on. Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, she's Orc, not like, going anywhere tomorrow. Or like shakes Victoria, like tries not to shake her too hard, but you know, like, you, you can no. feel that. You can feel that, so you can <laughs> switch your senses back at, as you wish. Yeah. Yes, yeah, she'll well, do that. Oh. Yeah, he's like, or as you're shaking her, you notice her eyes are completely, like, grayed out, glazed over. She doesn't seem to notice, notice or hear anything, but once you start to shake her, her eyes return to her no its normal color. <laughs> oh, there you are. You look like me after I had that strange flower. You she, awake now? Yeah, she just look at you confusing about strange flower, but you'll... Yes, anyways, those two are moving up ahead to see if they can uh, snuff out the enemy. You and I should uh, stay here and uh, make sure no one jumps the cart. Although, right. how far can you shoot again? Who are you talking to? That was too good. Uh, Victoria. 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 It's, a, it's 120, isn't it? Nope. Oh, she, she, has, she, has, she has Eldritch she has Eldritch Spear and Spell Sniper, so her Eldritch Blast can go up to six hundred feet. Yes, 600. Yeah, so she can she can fire as, as far as she can see. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so nobody's gonna wait for me. <laughs> I'll move up pace a little bit, but since you can fire far, just stay with the cart for the time being. And help us out as soon as we get into trouble. Alright. 
Okay. Let's begin. So. Build that. Um. Tell Pastly, tell Gossip to come back. Okay. And fly over. Yeah, so he'll do that. He'll eventually return. As for the other two, are you moving up stealthily through the brush? Or down the main road? Let's, stealth. let's try stealth. Okay, so both of you roll stealth. Stealth. Natural 20. Nice, and a 17. Oh nice. Uh, what about you, Orc? <laughs> you know what? I think Orc is going to do what Orc does best. He's just going to walk down the main road and be the fucking bait. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Respect. <laughs> Somebody needs to do it, all right? If a shiny dragonborn is walking down the fucking road in armor, all right, ready for a fight, I think that might take some t take some of the attention off of the, those who re who walk into the bush, right? Xylus uh, uh, is following Orc at this time. Hey, the oh. dragons are together. You can't stop. <laughs> you can't stop. Oh, what did you do to your HP? Okay. Uh, Oh, oh, Auric, when you put in that formula in your character sheet, it f completely fucks up your token HP. <laughs> Does it? Yeah. I just did that to remind myself. It says you have 563 max of HP. <laughs> I'm invincible. Of course, I knew there was a way to have a good idea. You can't kill me if you tried. You ain't going down that soon. I'm actually a boss monster. <laughs> boss oh monster, bitch. boy! <laughs> you can't kill me. Yeah, I'm just gonna fix that. <laughs> on, at least on the token end, I'm gonna fix that. So oh, your boy. HP would be 34 with aid. Okay. Yeah, with aid. Yep. Okay. Victoria would be way. I'm just trying to get. An idea where everyone is, even though it, the map isn't exactly how it's going to look. <laughs> but yeah. Are, we can do with what we got. Yeah. Yep. Are Asira and Aya moving together? Or are you going like one's going down one side of the road, the other one's going down the other side? Something like that. Um, I think that would be the best way is. One person on one side, one person on the other. Yeah, Making a... sure to pin some maneuver. Okay, but okay, which side is which side are you taking then? <laughs> um, if it's okay with Aya, I'll go ahead and take the left. Okay. She doesn't care. Let's see over here. So, Silas will be with you. Asira, what's your what's supposed to be your maximum HP? Thirty-eight. Asira. Oh, Asira. It's forty-three with the plus five. Okay. Um, it is normally thirty-eight. Okay, it's just your token didn't update. And okay. then yours is thirty-eight. You said. Yeah, it's thirty-three originally, but it's thirty-eight because of aid. Yeah. Oh wow, your AC is wrong too. Oh. There we go. And Zealous's HP is twenty-five. Yep. With his AC being sixteen. Yep. Nothing's changed on him yet. Besides his HP. <laughs> yep. Besides the five. G good God, just give me the AZ. Like, nope. Thank you. <laughs> and Orcs just balls to the wall down the middle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, he, he, like, deliberately, like, paces himself so that if, let's say, someone confronted him straight up forward, the other two would be able to easily, like, pincer them. If that happened. Right. right. That's how he's trying to, like, pace himself. Yeah, as you're moving along, um, 
I assume the two of you are trying to keep in line with Oryx so that you're not too far ahead or behind him. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Uh, Oryx, as you're moving down, you do see a man step out from more in the brush. He's got... Uh, hold on, I gotta open up the sheet. He's got studded leather on. He's got a cup. He's got a kind of like a, you could say, a a, a sword on his back. He's kind of wave waving you down a bit. He's not talking yet, but he's just waving you down like at like a, he's still ahead, quite a bit. All right. Well, Orc keeps pace then. And uh, just waves back with his shield hand, I guess. Mm-hmm. And uh, again, he's keeping pace, right? Still, you know, keeping himself ready just in case, of course. But he's gonna try to he's gonna try to keep in touch with his more friendly nature, right? To at least give the impression that you know he's a bit more of a pushover, maybe. Right. right? Just <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, an armored dragonborn with. <laughs> Right, yeah, but like that's the thing. But that's the thing, right? Like he's a, a armored dragonborn, but then he's got this goofy smile on his face, and he's like, "Ah, oh. <laughs> <Not> fair." <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like it's kind of off-putting. I was like, "What the fuck is this guy?" <laughs> <laughs> so Orc is slowly, I think, at the pace he's been going to match Asira and uh, Aya, um, just approaching yep. this guy. Which, um, once you get about fifty feet away, he's like, "I'm about to stop you right there, friend." Or it just stops, it's like, oh, okay, sure, no problem. Uh, hello! My name is Oric. Good to meet you, sir. Eh, good to meet you, too, I guess, but, uh, but, uh unfortunately, this, is, this here road's a, got a little bit of a toll to it. Oh, I see, a toll. Um, are you a part of the government? Yeah, yeah. Ashira immediately is putting a uh, a arrow in her in her bow and is just I do, watching. I do apologize if that's a, a bit of a weird question. Uh, I'm from the Empire, you see, and the only tolls that were ever allowed were those of uh, of government officials. Um, <laughs> if not, anyone who would dare try would be cut down to pieces. So I just wanted to make sure. Can I get Asira and Aya to both roll perception checks with your eyes? Oh, that's persuasion. That's not perception. That is not perception. <laughs> <laughs> not 20. <laughs> nice. Nice. 14. 14? Yeah, both not of you terrible. can tell, like, as you, as the man up ahead is talking to Auric, there are others along the sides of the roads starting to move to kind of get on either side of him through the brush. <laughs> and Oric, your the passive serious. perception catches them as well. <laughs> All right. Well, Oric is pretending not to notice for the time. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Shira is going to get slightly lower to the ground. Is going to point an arrow towards whichever one is coming towards her. I mean, they don't this notice way. you, but there's definitely one coming closer. <laughs> oh yeah, she's waiting with uh, until he's good and close. And that arrow might be going into her foot. How close? <laughs> she just gets down and is just gonna wait. She wants to see if he sees her first. So she's not moving. She's just lying and wait. I'm just yes, going off he's... of I'm just going off of your old perception or not perception stealth check. Natural uh, twenty. Which yeah, which it was. So a twenty six. So there's he gets nice. And yeah, close. there's no way he can see you. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna let him get like right in front of her. Uh huh. And then is going to uh, go for a bite. <laughs> You're gonna bite him. You're, Wait, is this part of the plan? <laughs> you're, you're biting him, or is Xylus biting him, or is it both? <laughs> it is... <laughs> it is gonna be both. <laughs> wait, wait, I'm, I'm trying to understand. So, like, 
she's hiding. This guy doesn't know she's there. Yup. She's like, yes. she's jumping him essentially in the forest while he's trying to get around to jump me. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> Go and ahead and do it silently enough, and hopefully they wouldn't know. Go ahead with your go ahead with attack rolls with your bites. Alright. Oh, please, so, I want this to work. I want both of you no, both please. are at advantage. Both are at advantage. Alright. You can do this. So, so we'll go ahead and do an advantage for the Drake. Uh-huh. For Xylus. Twenty-four to hit. Oh my. Yeah, <laughs> that definitely hits. And with it's, if I click it, would yeah. It should if you click the attack, it should go through. Uh, three piercing damage, and oh. he should have. Nope, it's just it's just the piercing damage. Wow, he rolled bad. Is um, it just three or is it three? Is this attack plus? I don't know, I'm just... It's the I can't check the formula while it's out in a separate window, so... So it's one plus two. <laughs> okay, so you rolled a one on this d6. <laughs> wow. Xylus, my boy, you need to do a little oh, better yeah. than that. Come on. Well, okay. Well, maybe he's just distracting well, him. Maybe he's just distracting him with that bite, and then the zero will come in and finish him off. That is, that is Xylus' <laughs> bite. <laughs> um, I got to... Because I don't have it as a straight up, like, in the attack thing for me right. to press. So I actually have to. Natural weapons. So it's it's not going to be enough. Um, can I change my bite for a stab? <laughs> With your short sword? Sure. Yeah, because I am not strength. I wanted to bite, but I cannot. Stab. Yeah, you don't have to strike the bite. <laughs> Xyla's bites, it does nothing. Perhaps I should change my tactic. <laughs> uh, that's a 10. That's a miss. Well, you have you had advantage on the attack. Oh, okay. Because you're coming out of stealth. You're literally coming out of the... the they're, they're in the goddamn trees. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. So I'm doing basically what the Adominus Rex was doing. Just the... Hi. <laughs> <laughs> So roll, hey, it, so roll your attack you. in. Yeah, uh, yeah, that hits. <laughs> and uh, it's still shit. Six, Six piercing damage. damage. For a total of nine, so I <laughs> did not bring him down. Yeah, you you bite his ankle, and he's like, he's like, oh, what the fuck, and then just gets stabbed. He's like, ah, <laughs> just like. <laughs> And that's when the uh, that's when the guy that Oric you're talking to turns and looks. He's like, "We got company, boys. Let's get them." <laughs> and I'm Wait, okay. Is that the signal? That's what works. <laughs> is that the signal? It is now. <laughs> it is yep. now. So I still I am still stealthed. So are, were you gonna do anything, or are you just gonna let this play out? <laughs> He's gonna let this play out, and he's like. Okay. You know what? Let, let these people choose their. Alright. Um. I made I'm this. I tried to do a cool thing, but the guy said no. Yeah. I originally made this now with the intention of you guys being ambushed. But, uh, so ignore the ox and the cart in the middle of the map. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I just. I just put Victoria way down here. <laughs> yeah. I oh, is over I see. here. I guess we were paying a little more attention. <laughs> yeah, you paid a little bit more attention than I was like. I should have. I should have right? taken into account, but you know that's on me. <laughs> hey, it's fine. You and keep, you can't that cart doesn't mind. exist. Yep. In our minds. Yeah, but, yeah. Can't like come up with everything, you know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, also, yeah. When last week when I said I made this thing a little too big, I'm talking about the ox. <laughs> He's a little too big. Well, I mean, look, maybe, maybe this guy, is, this merchant's actually no, 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 no. You know what it is now, guys? It's the Trojan ox. The Trojan oh ox. <laughs> we're the tro we're the ones. In the Trojan anyway, I'm on roll initiative. <laughs> oh, that's good. Let's see how well Rotan decides to 
Gimme. This has historically never worked out oh my for God. you. Okay, well, it's never worked out for me, so we'll see. That's the first nat 20 I've had. Oh, I forgot to put it on my guy again. No, you're, you're fine. You're fine. As soon as I... I mean, that's better than one. That's better than a godforsaken one. <laughs> hey, you yeah. got 11. That's, that's that. average. That's average. That I will take average at this point for initiative. I've never gotten good initiative. Yeah, Except even for like one time. Yeah, even rolling your regular dice, you were never that great at initiative. <laughs> yeah, no, even yeah, exactly. Even when I'm rolling just my actual dice, it just initiative never fucking works out for me. I don't get it. <laughs> Maybe you should be nicer. <laughs> well, my dice treat me pretty well most of the time, but then it's like. Ark, what did you roll in your initiative? 11. 11. 11. Okay. 11. I'm tied oh, to this what motherfucker. I'm saying. Just be nicer. Um, okay. That is everyone correct? Uh. Um, Except for Gothic, if you were one Gothic on the battlefield. <laughs> oh, yeah, give me a second. Because I had closed this thing for so I can actually see. Yeah, I was say if you want if you want him on the battlefield, you uh, just plop him next to you. You should give Gothic Multox too. <laughs> oh my god! Why are you Jazz giving her ideas? If Jazz can have cocktail, so can Gothic. Since you mentioned, it, now I gotta do it when I get a chance. Oh no! Hurts <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it was never really that efficient in combat except for that one time. I got it. <laughs> you good? I probably should roll for Gothic. Oh, I yeah. sh I forgot. I have it set up now so that Twitch can watch combat. <laughs> there we go. Without it breaking. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Alright, for Twitch, we want to watch combat. So, what do I need to roll again for Gothic? Oh, uh, wait. Be... Yeah, it should be an initiative button. Aren't most oxen that big? No. No, they're not they are, Trojan big. They are not that big, usually. They're not Trojan big. An ox would literally take up a 2x2 two two square. <laughs> but what I made, when I was making the map, I wasn't thinking. <laughs> it wasn't until it after I made the map and uploaded it to roll 20, I'm like, ah, oh, that's too big. <laughs> yeah. Gente. I mean, I assume there are ox that can get that big in this world. Oh, I'm sure. It's yeah. called it's called Super Cow. Super Cow. Yeah. The button. Super I cow, like Super Cow. Did you press it? <laughs> Hang on, give me a second. Because I was looking yeah. for it and I found it. I want to make sure. It's called Super Cow. Super Cow is big muscly ox that is only meant for breeding to Seven. make super muscly. <laughs> well, it's cows and meat. So yeah. it is something. And now he's helpful. <laughs> okay. Um, Aya, you are Wait. up first. As soon as I... Wait, Wait, isn't the Oryx supposed to be near this guy? 50 feet away. Oh, 50 feet away. He, I see. He's it's literally stopped cool. Oryx 50 feet away. So, yeah, not there. Well, I want to be oh, in the so center and <laughs> facing him. <laughs> so, yeah, for like a distance. So, this cow doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> this cow is fake. It's a part Trojan, of the figment of the imagination. Yeah, it's called Trojan Ox. I am the ox. You, <laughs> you should have played a Minotaur. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that would have made so much sense. But it's too late. I'm a dragon. <laughs> anyway. Next time. Yep. Anyway, Aya, you are up first. I have a speed of 40. You okay. do have a speed of 40 because you have mobile. Oh, God. I zoomed in way too far. <laughs> Or go here. And you're coming stealth. out of stealth, so your attack is at advantage. At advantage? Yes, it is at advantage because you're coming out of stealth. Ta-da! 16 does hit. So good 13 piercing damage. You just Ouch. run up and just get him right in the back. And then yeah. you can move away and not take opportunity attack. Yes. Wait. Gorilla warfare. 
Yeah, <laughs> okay. And yeah, I'm good. <laughs> You're good? Okay. Yeah. Victoria, you are <laughs> way in the back, but you can kind of see a couple of them. Especially mostly the ones that the Asira and Aya just attack. And you can also see the main one in the center of the road. Uh, I, was say, sure I, can... <laughs> I was about to say, I'm sure I can see the one that's standing in the road. Yeah, you can see him clearly. <clears throat> kill him, kill him, kill him. Go for it. <laughs> yeah. Go Don't let him me. escape. Know that he know that his tactics with me was nothing more than a ruse. <laughs> oh break yeah, his, I break his Nico Nico kneecaps. <laughs> let let her take her turn. <laughs> <laughs> what you want me aim for his ankles? No, his kneecaps. That's fucked up. Well, well, either way, I was gonna Eldritch blast him. <laughs> Do it. Go for it. From all the way over here. And you can indeed hit without an issue. As long as you roll high enough. What do you mean it's after to shoot his Nico Nico kneecap? <laughs> that's, that's a little fucked. I, I know he's a bandit. I know he's a bad dude. You know, he's, he's a ruffian. Wow, that'd be fun. But like, that's not even, like, you might as well kill him. Like, actually. Oh, you know? no! <laughs> she rolled a natural one. Why? Oh. You were so nice to me earlier. You go to fire up your beam and it just fizzles out as soon as it leaves your palms. <laughs> Little red sparkles. <laughs> I, I'd like to imagine Orc is standing there knowing that she would take a shot and he's just like he's just like grinning a little huh. bit and smugly and then nothing happens. He's like, oh. and it's, it's huh. like suddenly I'm worried. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Was did I just? He's like thinking to himself at this point because like because of the sneak attack. Is like, did like in his own brain? He's just like, did I not know the plan? Was I the fool for not knowing what the plan was? <laughs> like, you did I, not I know the plan. Orc, I imagine Eric hears like a small spark from behind him. <laughs> oh God! It's like a fire sparkler. Anyway, you, you have movement and you have a bonus action. Uh, let's see. My movement speed. Your movement speed is 35. Right. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna do two things. We're all just an aim for the knee or the painful bits. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's even better. But, I, um. That's... <laughs> Don't do that to the guy. Just kill him. <laughs> just kill <laughs> him if you're going to do that. Anyway, um. <laughs> I am going to move up, but also I was going to be scary bat lady. Oh, because you're activating your former dread. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Since I know that's a bonus action. You conjure up your form of dread <laughs> as you're beginning to move as forward. I... Just a bat swarm begins to form. Uh, roll a d10. For that. <laughs> Why is it now? So Did that work? you have 14 temporary hit points. Because <laughs> it's, yeah, the D10 plus your warlock level, yeah. So 14 temporary hit points. It's always Goodness. the stuff that I'm not at, <laughs> I wasn't planning on to, always works. Let's see. I think that's the part. You move five more feet. If you want to. Okay. I was going to use all my movement anyway. Okay. So, in other words, doing what I usually do with... Well, no one's close enough for that, but... Alright, so... Former Dread is up, you move, you fire, that's your turn. Asira. We're just gonna... Uh, both me and my, uh... Same song and dance. <laughs> yep, same song dance. Go for it. I'm actually gonna attack first. Because then his reaction will cry. Uh, and I miss again. <laughs> <coughs> Was that, oh yeah, it's nine. Yeah, that's a, that misses. That's a miss. So. It's a little harder to hit now that he is aware of you. <laughs> 
It's just like my dice hate me. But 14, 14. does hit. Alright. So Silas does seven points of damage. Nice. As he bites. Still standing. Redemption. But nice. Gets him in a more lethal spot. First time it was like right on the ankle bone, but now it's like right on a thigh. Like right where... You know, a, ma a, a major artery might be. Might be. Yeah, it's my turn. Okay. Auric, you're up. Okay. Man. Uh, should I do? I can do that. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Uh, Orc is gonna cast Guiding Bolt. Okay. On the, uh, on the dude up there. That's just like an attack roll sort of thing, right? Yep. Or, uh, it is an attack roll. Okay. So let's see if you hit. And just for good measure, uh, before Orc casts it, he's gonna use, uh... Gosh, can I do that? No, that's fine. No, I can't. That's not. Oh, uh, I you're the, you you look at your uh you're looking at your channel yeah, divinity. That, that's only that's only melee attack rules. I'm pretty sure that's not. Uh, melee. Let me. Just, I'll I'll double check that. But I'm pretty sure. Yeah, pretty sure it is melee attacks. Or maybe not. I mean, because it says when you make an attack roll, you can use your channel divinity to gain a, a plus ten to bonus to roll. It doesn't specify it's melee, right? If it does not specify melee. When you make an attack roll, you can use your channel domain to gain plus 10 to a bonus suit. It just says attack roll, so that means any attack that you make. So, yes, you could. Oh, hell yeah. You can let's use it for your guiding bolt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, let's do that. Um, so, that's uh, channel divinity. So, bam, we use that. And actually, let me just. I'm going to read this again real fast here. Guiding bolt, it's a. Range attack spell, and when it hits, it deals 46 radiant damage. And if it hit, yeah, that's if it hits. On top of that, the next attack made against the target creature is made with advantage. You know what? I'm going to cast this as a second level spell. So it's 5d6. <laughs> <laughs> just, just to fuck you. <laughs> Do it. And, uh, yeah. Go for um, it. Yeah. Do it. Do what you want. Do I just like? You just click on guiding bolt, and it'll ask you what level it'll cast it at, and it should do it for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a thirty-five will hit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can make the choice after you see the roll, but before the DM says whether. So you can roll and still choose to use guiding bolt or uh, choose. Your channel divinity or not? Oh, so I don't have to use it. Right you now. don't have to use it right now. Well, fuck yeah! If I'm gonna it, hit him anyway, because you're you're allowed you're allowed to roll first and then decide whether you want to use it or not. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah! Then I'm not wasting that. Twenty five should be good enough to hit him. It's yeah, like twenty five. Twenty five hits. <laughs> fuck this guy. <laughs> so yeah, when you click on guiding bolt in there, it should ask you what spell level you want to cast it at, and just just choose second level. Uh. I mean, I clicked on it, but it, it's in not... The, in the in, chat box, I mean. Oh, in the chat box. Yeah, if you click Guiding Bolt in the chat box. Oh, there you go. So that is oh, that's not 16 radiant damage. <laughs> right to him. He's hit. He takes it in the chest. And he just looks angry, but he also has this faint glow around him. Lighting him up <laughs> for whoever wants to go for him next. Orc is kind of hoping that maybe so a certain vampire might be able to take advantage of this. <laughs> <laughs> maybe get him this time. So, Orc, are you going to move or are you going to stay your ground? Um, Orc is literally just going to... Orc is just going to, like, make a pose like he's crossing his arms. <laughs> and just, you know, use it... Instead of moving, he's just going to, like, stretch real quick. Like... <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you're not moving. 
He's I'm like taunting them like hurry the fuck up and come over here, you coward. <laughs> that was boring. You bore me. <laughs> Alright. Uh man, that's your turn then. Yep, that's my turn. He is going to Yeah, he's going to move forward a bit. About twenty feet. Actually, no, he's going to move closer. Over here. Make sure he's in range. And he's going to take two knives out and throw them both at you. Oh, dear. <clears throat> oh, no, come on! <laughs> oh, they both hit, too. <laughs> oh, come on! Uh, he was not happy with you. So that first one is 11 piercing damage. Okay. And the second one is another 7, so it's 18 damage total. Goodness gracious. He was just not happy with you. <laughs> and then he pulls out the sword on his back and a third dagger just at the ready. I mean, you can see this. Like, you've seen short swords, but this one's more. This one's not a standard short sword you're used to. This one is uh, curved. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be fun. And the knives, or even the knives, like the daggers he threw, they're definitely they're definitely kind of the same sh shape idea. But you know, they, they it fucking hurt. <laughs> Say that. Well, at least the taunt worked. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> That's his turn. It is Gothic's turn. Alright. Um, let's see. I was just trying to see how far he can fly. Uh, I think it's like 40 Oh, okay, it says you can fly 50 feet. 50 feet. over there. Park this guy. And he can make it over there. Why not go ahead and terrorize this guy? <laughs> so he's flying over to use the help action? <laughs> yeah, because he okay. terrorizes this person. Are you using a help action or are you, are you going to have him pluck at him? Because a help, a help action would give Asira advantage on her next attack roll. Um, yeah, he'll help her. Okay. So now he has a bird assaulting him in front of you, Asira. <laughs> <laughs> Which poor SOB. He didn't, he, he just wanted to live. Uh, which group is this? It's the blue group. Okay. Uh... Let's see. This one's gonna move over here, and oh yeah, they're in range still, so they're not gonna move. But the one that moved towards you, I it's gonna take a, it's gonna pull out their bow and let loose an arrow towards you. Okay, ow. Well, I just closed all of Roll20, didn't I? No, I just minimized it. Okay. <laughs> there we go. 
Wait, uh, I only meant to click. I clicked it once. Why didn't it click twice? So oh, she's good though. So the six, oh. yeah, six. You're five. Yeah. Okay. Six. Okay. I thought uh, it was funny. I was just like, ow. <laughs> yeah. All right. The other three are gonna let loose their arrows at you. Oh no! <laughs> Please be merciful. Nine, okay. Fourteen. Okay. Nope, that one hits. One of them gets through for five piercing damage. Alright. Again, they're not happy with you. Yeah. It's almost like the healer's being a tank. I mean, I just... <laughs> yes, do we... You're gonna ask if you ask us, you know, thin the numbers a little bit, please? Gosh. Uh, this one's gonna move over here. And you're gonna have two more arrows coming at you. <laughs> oh my gosh. I actually might get down just because of the constant attacks. Okay, well, that one missed at least. No, nope. okay, they both missed. Thank God. <laughs> this zero, you have one arrow coming at you. That misses. Right. <laughs> a nine misses, and the other one's gonna pull out his little short sword and take a slash at you. And no. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> Just I feel like literally it's just Org being hailed at with like everything's coming in his face. Alright, Aya, it's your turn again. Oh, oh why is not our vengeance? That was supposed I have to be normal. No idea. But eat would eight. miss. Unfortunately. God. Darn it. Okay, you know what? Echo. <laughs> Manifesting your echo. Uh huh. Right behind. Here, let me just edit it so that it's not. As one HP. <laughs> and what's his AC again? Or team plus my proficiency bonus. Okay, so sixteen AC. Sixteen AC, yes. I'm gonna go ahead and tint it so that we can tell. That is not where I tend to that. There we go. But you manifested an echo behind him. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you can do that for free. It's not a... No, it is a bonus action to do it. Never mind. It is. It is a bonus action. Yeah. So that's your turn. Unless you want to, yeah. unless you want to use the rest of your movement. Um. You made an attack, so he can't hit you. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna. <laughs> okay. That's your turn, Victoria. I believe in you, Victoria. I need, <laughs> yeah, I need you to do this, okay? <laughs> well, she was already playing, and I'm, I'm aiming for the same guy. Well, you have advantage. Now, and now you so. have advantage because he did get hit with Guiding Bolt. And if you hit him, he does have to make a wisdom save or be frightened of you. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. Come on, real tiny. I can't I need this. 17 does hit. So he takes six horse damage. And now he has to make a wisdom save. He fails! <laughs> <laughs> Thank god, something good happened. <laughs> so I mean, I'm sorry for your loss of confidence, sir. He is now <laughs> frightened of Victoria. <laughs> I'm like, or you see the beam fly past and it rains and it impacts him and then he just kind of he looks at you for a moment but then looks behind you and there's just a sudden fear just coming over him <laughs> I, I love that I've done this three times 
to make Org look scarier than he actually is. I am just the guardian knight of the Demon King, okay? That's just how this works. I'd be the doula hand in this situation if it wasn't for the fact I'm clearly not dead yet. Any movement? Any movement, uh, Victoria? No, I'm dead. Any bonus action you want to do? Like spells or anything. See, is there any other spells that's considered bonus action? Do you have hex? Or no? Oh. Is this a good idea or not? On one hand. Uh, oh, you don't have any bonus action spells besides Shadow Blade, but I'm going to suggest you switch that one out because it's not going to be great. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll switch to that one and I level up. Yeah. So. Then I'll, I'll, I'll find a different um, bonus, bonus action spell. I mean, do remember you get your spells bot your, your spell slots back anytime you rest, even if it's a short rest. Whereas everyone else has to be a long rest. Yeah. So. <laughs> anyway, uh, that is your turn. Sierra, it is your turn. You had an arrow fly past stop. you. This man took a swing at you. Into the same song and dance, we're gonna attempt to swing at him and hopefully hit him. Oh okay, yeah, who's, isn't he also being? Who's? Isn't he also being taken like a bird? Yes, that's why I'm asking which one's striking first because that one will have advantage. I'm gonna attempt to strike first. Go for it. Oh. No, Xylus would. Sorry. <laughs> So Xylus would be getting the advantage. Okay. Oh my god, I can see these two. <clears throat> I can see Gothic and Xylus be... 23 oh, yeah. for Xylus. <laughs> yeah, that, that... I might even have you roll damage. <laughs> he only has two hit points. Uh, Alright. Just jump up, go for the throat. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, fine, this ain't bringing you down. Fine, He's like, this, like, this fucking bird, and then looks down just... <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I hope you know I, I committed. I, I, like I just, game. I just want to clarify. I committed to the bit where I actually jammed my head into my throat. <laughs> oh, don't hurt yourself that way. Oh. I committed to the bit, <laughs> but he is gone. Gonna, <laughs> I should. He goes I should leave them on the field just so I can... Because I know y'all are going to loot him. I just wanted to... Just so I can count. <laughs> I'll leave him there, but he's going to be at... Eh. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. Um, Ashira is going to... As Xylus does that, Xylus goes to jump up, bite, brings him down. Just going to bring out crop, Bring out bow. Okay. Arrow. And it will proc if it hits... Gonna go for this guy over here. The next closest guy? Okay. Go ahead and take a shot. 22 plus 2 for yeah. 24. Yeah, that hits. So, first the damage from this and a 1d6 of fire damage Wait, were you, afterwards. Did you say longbow or crossbow? Longbow. Okay. Because <laughs> it's easier to, uh, easier to put an arrow in. As you draw it out. Until you get crossbow expert. <laughs> yeah, that's my next feat. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, that's a that's eight piercing and it, damage, and then whatever fire damage is gonna come off of Xylus. And two. two fire damage. So <laughs> as your arrow's flying through the air, Xylus's essence just kind of fuses with your arrow, burning it as it, it pierces into him. He's still standing, but he's hurt. He now has a fire arrow in him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any movement? Uh, 
She is going to move up. <coughs> She's actually going to move out and out and over this way behind Xylus. Okay. So she can still keep an eye on everybody on the north side and still kind of see this guy over here. Okay. Uh, Orc, it is your turn. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. So, Orc is going to cast Cure Wounds on himself. <laughs> it might, might just be an important thing to do. You can get back six hit points. Which puts you back and, up to 22, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Um. You know what? I have a bad feeling about this. Uh, I'm going to. He's also going to use his bonus action, cast healing words on himself as well. Okay. So <laughs> how spells how spells work? You can only cast oh. one leveled spell oh. as an action. <laughs> so you can cast a bonus action leveled spell and then a cantrip. But you can't cast two, for you know, two spells at first level or higher in the same turn. Even if it uses a bonus action. Even if it uses it. a bonus action. Interesting. Okay, that's un that's understandable. All right, I guess we can't do that then. Um, is there anything else I can do right now? Orc's gonna move a little bit to the. It's just a little bit. He's like, he still wants to be in the open so that, you know, he has the attention for the time being, but he's kind of positioning himself to maybe start taking cover as soon as maybe the crowd thins it a little bit. <laughs> he's not feeling too hot at the moment. Um, But yeah, uh, I guess that's all you can do for right now. Yeah. I guess you get a little bit closer to this guy. But yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh... Yeah, that's your turn. So his turn. He can't willingly move closer. Because of frightened. Because of frightened. Because he sees me. Yeah, he can't. He can. He can't willingly move closer to Victoria. So which means he can't engage in melee with you right now. <laughs> oh, thank God! I have a feeling that be his forte, regardless. <laughs> hey, at least I helped with that. I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, Org is using this to. He's healing himself. He's like, come at me. I yes. say this is the best thing for me to be scary Batley in order for everyone else to be scared to just seem it's, to be looking in your direction. It's, it's good CC. <laughs> but he is going to move over there and yeah, that's all he's going to be able to do. He's not going to take any risks right now. Yeah, um, Orc is just going to Orc's just going to say just loud enough for him as, he's, as he turns to Lily and he calls him a coward. <laughs> not He doesn't scream it. He's just like, coward. Oh, just to piss okay. him off a little bit more. Okay, it's uh, it's Gothic's turn then. All right, whoever's in rage, I can terrorize next. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's this guy up here. <laughs> uh, whoops. Turn range. This guy. He is in range. That guy, you can move 50. Uh, God, that can move 50 feet to terrorize the being big bad. <laughs> you know, he'll be just getting in range. Ooh. Like, Give if, this guy a like, if, like if he moves here, he'll be able to get right up next to him. Sure, let's make it even worse for him. <laughs> No, no. That's Victoria. That's Victoria. <laughs> <Yeah>. Control Z. <laughs> no, nope, that brings up my picture. No, wait, that's not the right one. Okay. And Z. Nope. Do you need me to move Gothic? Yes. Yeah. I, told, I think Victoria might be in the wrong spot. Yeah, I think she's in the right spot. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, Gothic is now... <laughs> or I can just see Gothic just fly past you, straight towards. 
Uh, okay. Go get him, Sir Gothic. I will say. Go he, get him. I was. I forgot to mention he is taking the dodge action on his turn. So instead of anything else, but Gothic is now moving up next to him, and that's Gothic's turn. He a help action. So yeah. Bandit's turns. Uh. This one is blissfully unaware of the echo behind him, so he's gonna take a shot at Aya still. Which means he's at disadvantage because the echo is right next to him. Aw. <laughs> that does not hit, I, I think, 14. Nope. So, arrow fly past you, and then. Orc, you got three arrows coming at you again. Well, that's less than last time. No, it's about the same amount. <laughs> well, didn't get knives thrown at me this time, did I? Well, true. <laughs> Only one oh, arrow come hits. Come on! Fuck you! Five and it survived. <laughs> Down to 17. Okay, well, it's alright. We take those. <laughs> we take those. Come on, bitch. I'm right here. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> about half right now, bitch. Come on. Come on! And I then... can just see Orc arm cross as he still gets arrows stuck at him. Like, that was nothing. He He's fronting as best. These hurt like hell. He's just fronting the best that he can at the moment so that they don't shoot at you guys. <laughs> this one's gonna yeah. move down. And seeing, Zy seeing the dragon take down the friend, he's gonna start, these two are gonna start <laughs> letting loose arrows at Xylus. Not my baby! <laughs> Just a little, little friend. Four piercing damage. And I believe uh, 15 misses. misses. Yeah. <laughs> just misses. Uh -huh. So Zylus only takes four friend. piercing damage. But the last arrow is coming at you, Orc. Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> Shield buff, bitch. I saw that one coming. <laughs> <laughs> Question right. Which is the one that hit uh, Zylus? It would have been... It was the first one that shot, so the one you already hit. <laughs> so the one with the flaming arrow sticking at him. Gotcha. Yep. <laughs> so, Aya, you. it is your turn now. Oh. Thirteen just hits. Seven. That's another one down. He just goes down like his friend. Well, probably not as brutally as his friend. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> he, does, he, does he still have a throat? Because if so, then yeah, he's fine. It's a lot better. He probably has a hole in it, but it's not torn out. <laughs> So you got to contemplate for a few oh, yeah. seconds. So he's down on. on command. He's moving the echo over here. Okay. And that's where I is just going to stand. Okay. So that's your turn. All right. Victoria, your turn. Good. I do. I'm going to go after the guy I've been going after this entire point. So, here's the thing. Um... Because he used a dog's action, it would have been a disadvantage, but now that there's a bird assaulting him, it's a straight roll. Well, good thing I... Good thing I have him go over there. Let's see. My roll 20. Oh. An 11 does not hit. You, you let loose your beam, and he just flies past him, hitting a tree behind him. Well, I take it that tree is starting to burn. Well, it was only of its force damage, not fire. Okay. <laughs> so it has a, then, so it definitely has an impact in it, but not. Oh, so. hey, look! There's just, just a giant impact in the side of a tree. I did also, nothing wrong. Quick but, question, um, yes. Jason. Do you mind showing me what a 15 foot cone looks like? A 15 foot cone. I certainly can. Where? Where's my? Templates. Templates. 
Tomblets. Is there subscription sets? It is. And this, this one sucks, so I'll just find a different one. Hold on. <laughs> I have one for spells, but it's still the same idea. Dragon's Breath is a 15 foot cone, yeah? right? Yeah. Yes, it is. Fire, yes. <clears throat> I'm, I'm at the spell, but yeah. Yeah, that, that would be a 15 foot cone. Okay, good. Good to know. Thank you. I'm going to put it on the GM layer because I think it's going to be a tool for later. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that. Um, I think I'm done with my turn since. Okay. Yeah, at the end of I your was turn. Yeah, at the end of your turn, the frightened does end on him. So he's no longer frightened. And, and he just has a first arrow, I think. I'm... Yep, and it's here. It is your turn. Alrighty. So she's gonna look at the guy <coughs> that just saw, shot Xylus. Uh huh. And <clears throat> is going to attempt to shoot him. Go for it. That's an 18. Yeah, it definitely hits. Seven. He's still standing. <laughs> and the D6 of three. Yeah, now he's going down. <laughs> it's the fire Fire's that sent him over. <laughs> <coughs> and Ashira's going to kind of move up to there. Okay. Keeping an eye on this guy next. Fair enough. <laughs> That is my turn. Zyla's so gonna move anywhere? Um. Actually, yes. He would move up. <coughs> Sorry, let me double check his movement speed. 40 I mean, he has like 40 feet, yeah. <laughs> he can get right up in this face. <laughs> yeah, because he didn't take his attack yet. Get right up in there, jaws open. <laughs> <laughs> just like, just like what the last thing one of his friends saw. <laughs> he just hit the guy. He's like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> yeah, that hits. Twenty-three hits. <laughs> it's back again. <laughs> For five piercing. For five damage. piercing damage. <laughs> it's. I'm imagining, I'm sorry, I'm imagining a, um... <coughs> okay, here's, here's the thing. Since Xylus is so small, technically, they don't immediately yeah. see him. They saw it, something leap up and just grab their other guy. <laughs> but it just hears <laughs> movement through the brushes as Xylus is suddenly just lashing out at them. It's like a fucking <laughs> horror movie. <laughs> it's uh, like, all of a sudden you see something, you don't know what... <laughs> But it is now attacking your face. <laughs> B. Wait. So that is... That is your turn, I believe. My turn. Okay. <laughs> yep. Alright, Auric. Just come from Mike. The bird is in the way. <laughs> yeah, the bird would get hit. <laughs> the bird's in the fucking way. <laughs> you can hold your action. What does that do? You just basically hold your action until, and then when when you feel like it, or when a specific trigger occurs, you use your reaction to then use your action. It's so like you can hold your breath. You can hold your dragon's breath and wait for the bird to move, and once the bird moves, that's when you can let loose. What that's might fair. be smart is to to let Victoria know so she can move, tell the bird to move. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Uh, yeah, because I imagine Gothia is too busy um doing what ravens do. <laughs> they terrorize people. 
going for the eyes. <laughs> More or less. <laughs> Tell people on, fo- <laughs> on on old forest roads to run. <laughs> <laughs> Can you bring up the template one more time? Yeah, give me a second. So I know how to position myself for this. <laughs> Sorry. Jam layer. Token layer. So, I mean... I kind of assume you kind of want to go in that kind of fashion. Yeah, that's probably best. Or, uh, or I could go like over here. Because if I can do it in a way where I'm not in like, I'm not in next to an enemy, that might be better. <laughs> if you can get up there, you can probably do that. But <laughs> I can reach that. I can actually reach that. You can. <laughs> Strategically, is that the smartest move? No, it's really not. <laughs> it's really not. <laughs> it's real. That's kind of my only problem. Is it's like that's such a stupid place to put myself for something that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I can't do that. That's just too dumb. <laughs> Fair. Probably gonna come in over here on this side, and then blast it straight. Yeah, like that. And then I'm gonna need that bird to move though. <laughs> or it's gonna get cooked. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so, uh, okay, when holding an action, does that take a bonus action, or can it, is that something I can just you, do? You just you just say, hey, I'm holding my action, and it moves on to the next turn, and then whenever, the, whenever Gothic gets out of the way, you use your <laughs> reaction in order to use your action, if that makes That's sense. Fair. <laughs> That's fair. All right. Well, okay, Oric is going to do this then. He is going to start running over here. As he does so, he's going to yell at Victoria to tell her bird to fly. <laughs> <laughs> that bird needs to fly. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> is, is that what he yells as he gets into position? <laughs> Fair enough. Um, And he's actually going to use... I can use my bonus action then, right? You still have a bonus action, yes. You want to use that And I'm going to use healing words, because I, I should be able to do that now, right? Yep. So I'm going to use healing words on myself, just to give myself a little bit more of a boost then. Go for it. How does that cure me just as much as... Okay, whatever. Because <laughs> you're all a two in both of them. <laughs> oh, 23. Uh, okay. Yeah, don't question it, Christian. <laughs> I kind of do question it, because that means something's wrong with my abilities, but whatever. And with that orc, just like, you can just see, like, I guess Aya could see it from where she's standing. Orc does something he, you, you've never seen him do before, which is, like, kind of, like, take a breath in and not release it. <laughs> just... Fair enough. Like, you're pumping his chest out. All right. Oh, it's the big man's turn. He is going to come for you, Auric, right in your face. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. <laughs> he is kind of unaware of what's about to happen to him, but he is going to make three attacks against you. Oh, of course. What a cool guy. I love this man. He's, he's so cool. Yeah, that hits. So the first one gives you eight slashing damage. Okay. That one that does not. The second one misses, and the third one with his, with his little knife... Misses. Misses. So you, you get one cut on me. Good for you, asshole. <laughs> you got one good slash on me, dick. Savor it. He's gonna pay for that. <laughs> and that's his turn. Okay. Gothic's turn. I imagine Orc just tanks it. He's just like, guy slashes him in the chest. And Orc's just like, Ugh! Pretty much. <laughs> You're holding in that breath. Yeah. Gothic's gonna fly as... He's been told. <laughs> okay. Know that. Go for the next guy up there. <laughs> yeah, I was like, like you got this. I'll go to here. And then you can let loose your breath. And the second gothic gets out of range, or just like belches this fire. <laughs> just a torrent of flames ex- uh, expelling from his mouth. Go ahead and roll the damage for that. 
It's a 1d10. So yeah, and it, but it also they had dexterity save to try to avoid it. So and it's based off of your constitution, I believe. This is your metallic dragonborn. Yeah, it's based off your constitutions. What's your constitution modifier? Two. So the DC is twelve. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> okay, so is is it? It's it's backslash R. Yes. All right. And then you hit space. Okay. He f okay. <laughs> he fails. Wait, watch the guy behind him do well. Yep. <laughs> yeah, but the other one. So <laughs> the one in your face it takes the full six fire damage. <laughs> well, the one in the back takes three. <laughs> he was at the edge. That makes sense. This asshole was... He thought he was cool. He came up to me. <laughs> he thought he was strutting. I mean, he's still not even at half health yet, so... Yeah, but you know what? He lost, he lost the moral battle. That's what matters here. <laughs> Alright. Uh... Okay. This guy, he got burned, but he's going to pull out his sword and move up to Orc and begin to take a swing. Yeah, 19 hits. Yep. You take three slashing damage. Woo. Look, every little dent hurts, okay? I've literally <laughs> taken... All the damage. <laughs> Every bit of damage has been on me, except for Xylus. Xylus has taken on, like, four. Uh, your healer shouldn't be your tank, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Next one comes down, and... It's gonna let loose an arrow at Aya. Shit, all right. <laughs> Barely missing. <laughs> This one has a bird harassing him. He doesn't know what to do about it. <laughs> Go get him, Gothics. He can do it. I Yeah, I don't know what he's going to do about it. <laughs> oh, so it's Gothic, right? Gothic, yes. Yes, okay. He's a oh, bird. Bird on me! Kill it! I can't! <laughs> it might be a rare bird! <laughs> I mean, we he's... can sell it for money! I mean, he's gonna try to take a swing at Gothic and he is he's harassing him. <laughs> yeah, he pulled out his sword and... No, yeah! No. Oh no! <laughs> Gothic goes poof. That's okay, I can bring him back. At least he bears. <laughs> it's just a puff of feathers, but... The guy's confused because there's no blood. The bird just disappears into this shadow. Like shadowy mist. <laughs> Imagine wasting your twenty on a familiar. <laughs> <laughs> he is familiar. he is so confused. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, that was a it's like boss. I don't think these guys are the ones we should be messing with. <laughs> uh, the other group of bandits, the one that's attacked, getting bit by Xylus, going to take a. Uh, Try to attack Xylus. Nope. No. <laughs> and <laughs> just learned that time. And the other one's gonna try to help his friend with his bow. That one hits. Yeah, that hits. For eight piercing damage. Ouch. And Ashira takes note of that. <laughs> and he's he is gonna move up a bit. Just to, just to try to get in range, closer range. Ashira will remember this. Ashira <laughs> hey. won't live to forget this. Oh yeah, it's your turn. <coughs> Sorry. He moves, Echo. Cool. Okay, the Echo moves. Yep. You find this guy go anywhere, are you? And then... Attack. Yeah, that hits. Oh, yeah, that hits. <laughs> it takes 10 piercing damage. Is he below half health now? He is now. He is bloody. He also attacks. 12 misses. misses. 
Though he does, though technically Echo is flanking with Oryx, so roll a d6. Oh, d6. Oh, uh, it turns into a 15, which just makes it barely hit, but he's going to use his reaction to parry your Echo's attack. Surge! <laughs> okay! <laughs> Wait, what did Surge? Action Surge. Uh, action Surge. Oh, okay. Because remember, she's a fighter. <laughs> oh, that's right, that's right. Heck! Nope. <laughs> nope, it, if, it's, if it's... Yeah, everyone has a DM inspiration, it's a D4. Oh, I only have one! I only have one left, I don't want to use it! I mean, you get one at the start of every... I'm literally session. going to die at this rate. Oh. <laughs> I will say, you I will like have to roll... It's a D4, you will have to roll a 4 for it to connect. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and goodbye. <laughs> you're just gonna, you're <laughs> really, you're just going to leave Ori there with you. <laughs> you are the worst friend ever. <laughs> <laughs> At least oh, I hope the worst dude. friend ever. <laughs> or will remember that. He's like, no, fuck. <laughs> okay. Uh, Victoria, it is your turn. Well, of course, I'm gonna do this immediately when Gothic poops. So, what I'm gonna do. Oh, you can probably get in range and do a bigger spell if you wanted to. <laughs> Oh, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Cause she knows exactly who took Go after. Yeah, she knows exactly who to go after. Why are people calling me? If oh, you're okay. if you're about to use Witch Boy, you don't even need to get that much closer, just one step closer. <laughs> I was also trying to see my distance of some of my other spells. Um, right. Because I was going to go after the one who made Gossip. Oh, one way in the back, yeah. He I is... Gotta... He is 75 feet away from me right now. And I need to move. Help our... <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, you can- it's okay, I'm not gonna be a healer if I die, so I'm bringing your character, so... <laughs> like, I'm probably... <laughs> it's, it's cool. the... I- I can come back to this guy in another time. <laughs> I can come back for him. So... Yes, you can get him when he's running away. <laughs> he Literally, you can catch him as he- you could let him run for, like, 20 solid seconds, and then kill him. <laughs> I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back for him. So, and I'm gonna change my tactic and go with a bigger spell. And help you out. The... I was trying to see what my other spell did that I have on me. That's fair. Oh, god. Oh, my other spell is the one that I would, if they fell, I would know exactly where they are. Uh, yep. That one. So, Frog, um, I do see that comment. To, to, to answer your question, in some respects, yes, he has the high, he has like the highest AC, so in that regard, he could be the tank, but he has the, like, what, do I have the lowest or the third lowest HP? Oh, uh, let me, let me check. You have... I have 29 right Yeah, you have the lowest HP. <laughs> I have the least amount of HP out of everybody. <laughs> oh. And the amount of fire I'm taking is literally 85% of it. So no, Oric is not supposed- he's the healer. He's the cleric. <laughs> I can get him from here. Can you? This is what happens when we have a video. This is what happens when we have a video. This is what happens when what? 
He's about 35 oh. for me. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. I forgot. Spell sniper. You don't need to. <laughs> I don't have to move. You don't have to move. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna zap him. Yeah. Go for Ooh. it. I remember it's casting at second level, so. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 24, it does hit! <laughs> Takes 11 <laughs> lightning damage. <laughs> and he still has... And because it's an attack roll, he has to make a wisdom save again. Because you still have your forward dread. <laughs> yeah, it's just not... It's just gonna hold, hold on to that. It's he so is frightened of you again. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is he still facing Orc? He's still right next to Auric. Hold on, I gotta double check something about former Dread. I'm pretty sure the fear effects continue. They're not immune to it. I don't think... No, uh... they they don't become immune to it if they succeed. <laughs> so yeah, he's still frightened of you. Yeah. He's still facing Auric, right? Yeah. I mean, he's like... I mean, obviously, he turns towards you, considering that's where the lightning is coming from. But then, that yeah. obviously, your bat swarm surrounding you is what's causing him to get that fear on his face again. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I think he just literally thinks of Orc as his annoying wall that he has to take down, because otherwise that thing in the back is going to eat him. <laughs> That's like that's what it is. Like this giant, stupid, like dinosaur motherfucker needs to die. Otherwise, I cannot go and kill whatever the fuck that is. Well, and technically, he's not wrong. I technically could. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, you have a movement and a bonus action. Well, actually, you don't have much of a bonus action, but you do have your movement. No, but I can move. Yes, you can. Whoa. This be a little more impending due to them. Oh, I gotta mark your token because you are concentrating on Witch Bolt. I'm only gonna get a little, little scary. I'm gonna get a little closer, just ensue that fear of impending doom. Just, just walk a little bit closer, give him a little more stress as he's trying to kill this stupid dinosaur man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be my turn. Okay. And she will be walking it quite slowly, too. Edge so walking. We... Just strutting. <laughs> okay, Asira, it is your turn. She's gonna kind of look over, see how Ark's doing with two people in front of him as our fighter ran away. <laughs> She's like, oh, great. Uh, gotta be a <laughs> She's gonna... This full of arrows. Around, just and arrows. He's going, he's going to go over and take a shot. At which one? At the main one? At the main one. Okay, go for it. Uh, well, first things first, um, uh, uh, Silas is going to attempt another bite. Oh, of course. <laughs> yep, yeah, that hits. Go get him, Silas. Little <laughs> Oh my gosh, it just did 50 damage! <laughs> Why is this guy so effective? <laughs> uh, he's yeah. getting extra, he's like, getting an extra You just hear, me. you can just hear in the bushes, just like, just Xylus like screeching and like biting. You just hear this guy just like, get this thing off of me! <laughs> Free action. I will if you stop shooting at him. <laughs> <laughs> Orc just like, can Orc right. see the, the madness on the other side? Uh, you, can, you can't see it, but you can definitely hear it. Everyone can hear it. It sounds like a horror show. <laughs> it's like a velociraptor screeching. <laughs> Orc, all Orc says in his mind is, good job, little friend. I'll treat you well tonight. And Ashur is going to proc an arrow and is going to go for the main guy, which will 
um, get that extra d6. Okay. <clears throat> nope. Nope. <laughs> Misses. An 11 would miss, yes. Why is it whenever I try to do something that's going to help out the rest of us, it doesn't work? <laughs> I don't know. It's not just you. We've been rolling pretty well, like, outside of combat, but combat has not been the best. I mean, Orc has not taken a single fucking swing. <laughs> you know. Nobody has done it superbly well in terms of attacks so far. <laughs> On our side. Yeah. Except for Xylus. Except for Xylus. Xylus has done a lot. <laughs> Xylus is a fucking <laughs> devil spawn who's out here to devour the, <laughs> un the unaware and the weak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yes, Ashira will say, if you two run away now, I will keep him from following you. I will keep him here. <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll. Are you trying to be intimidating or persuading? Uh, persuasion. Go. Just trying to persuade them. All right, go for it. Because it's not the truth. It's like, I'm not going to let him follow you. You guys can run away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I go. mean, they just watched two friends, two of their friends get eaten by the, like... <laughs> this, go ahead and roll it then. No. <laughs> why, do, why do I try to do this? I try to help them, and it's like, ha, ha no, they're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> I try. I'll tell I you try. whether or not, I'll tell safe. <laughs> <laughs> You, you know what? Yeah, you know what? It was a good effort. You know, you tried to be kind to your enemies. Oric does respect that, so... I tried to be kind to my enemies. I tried to help Oric. <laughs> and I can do neither. Oric appreciates the the attempt to help. <laughs> Alright. That's my turn. I can't okay. do anything else. Oric, it is your turn. I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on myself again at second level and use my last second level spell slot for this. You can use your last third, uh, second, uh, yeah. This would be your last second level spell slot, yeah. <laughs> yep. I don't think it's 14. I hate, I hate, I hate this thing. It's just fucking... I mean, hey, at least you, you rolled a four this time on the D8 on the first one, and a six on the second one, so... I guess, you're right. So, uh, it was worth it, I guess, in that respect. I would so have got gotten to roll the second one. You got 14 back. <laughs> uh, bonus action? Um... If you have any. I mean, other than healing words, but... You know what? I'm how far is healing words? I don't think I can reach. Healing word is 60 feet? Yes, I can. I can reach. I can reach. But I'm, but, but you already cast cure wounds, so. Damn it, you're right. I can't do it. Oh, I want to help him so badly. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing so much out there. He's my tank buddy. Oh, he'll be a tank. He'll be a tank soon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's okay. I can't do anything I, then, I guess. Um, actually... Or... But no, that's gonna, that's gonna get two opportunity of attacks. That's not a good idea either. Never mind. I'm not gonna do it. Okay. He's just gonna sit- he's just gonna stay in place. Okay. If it was just him and not the other guy, I was like, maybe I could bait out that opportunity attack so he can't use his well, reaction. Well, remember, but... he already did use his reaction to turn to parry. Oh, did he? That's So he's only going to have one... So the only one's going to have an opportunity attack is the little peon next to him. You know what? That No, I, I completely forgot. Yeah, it's not his turn. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it then. That's worth... That's. I think that's worth disengaging. To make him move a little bit since he can't actually move near to me. So yeah, you're gonna risk one opportunity attack. Yep. From the peon. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's an. Just gonna. Yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna jump back a bit. 
And I'm gonna dare this motherfucker to move forward. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm gonna jump this way. You're fair. So he has to come in this direction. Except he willingly can't. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so he is going to. So throw a knife at me then again, asshole, if you have one. And he's got a couple more. He is gonna. Uh, yeah, he's gonna throw him, but he's gonna be at disadvantage because frightened. So, twelve does not hit, <laughs> nor does fourteen. <laughs> Fuck you! Just tinking off your armor. I got a, as ironically as the squishiest one. I have the strategize. <laughs> yeah, strategize more. <laughs> I'm trying. I think it's I've been fun. strategizing a lot. <laughs> No, you have been. It's pretty. It's good. <laughs> uh, okay. Now it's oh their turn. He can still move because he is not frightened. I don't care about that motherfucker. <laughs> Go ahead, <laughs> fight me. I can handle you. Just by yourself. <laughs> oh yeah, good. You hit me. Good job. Good job. Ouch. Force oh, you got me. Damage. Twenty-two health. Good. Good, good job. You got me. <laughs> Uh, this one's gonna take another arrow towards Aya. And miss spectacularly. Yep. Do better, do better next time, scrub. And no one's gonna let another loose arrow loose at Auric because he's still in range. And not she did even coming close! Work. Uh, these two. Yeah, they. Wait, did. that's the that was the one that was confused by the bird, right? That's the one that killed. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. He's still confused, isn't he? He's a little confused. <laughs> he's just like, he he's like what the fuck? Uh, this one, yeah. yeah, they're gonna gonna take a sword out against Xylus. Eighteen for eight slashing damage. Mm-hmm. And the other one's just gonna. He's gonna stand there with his bow at Xylus and miss. Thank God. Uh, Aya. He goes back. And attacks. Oh my. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I that... think Roll Twenty wants us to die. Roll Twenty wants us to fucking die at Rick early. Really? Um, yep. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, both attacks miss. Okay, good. You move twenty-five feet, I think. Yeah. Okay. So move down there. That's your turn. This guy's doing it spectacularly at dodging hits. Victoria, it is your turn. You you still have Witch Bolt up, so you can just do an automatic D12 damage. Oh, goody. <laughs> oh my gosh. There we go. There we go. Yeah, he is not looking good. <laughs> just a little zap of lightning, and he is... Not looking good. <laughs> oh my god. This man is having a this one's having a hard time. He's I mean, been frightened twice by me. He he, he took a lot of damage from you. <laughs> I mean he deserved it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh that's your action. Don't think of a bonus action, but if you want to move you can. Um yeah, I'm gonna probably. Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can move back slightly because I know friend's not gonna probably Gosh. end here. I'm not moving too far. Okay. Just spend ten feet back, and that's my turn. Yeah. 
you have a point. You have a point, Frog. I think most D&D games want people dead. That, that's normal, I guess. <laughs> he is no longer frightened because it wasn't an attack wall. It was just straight damage. Uh, Asira, it is your turn. Alright, um... I got it over there. I'm gonna attempt to take out this guy here. Okay. First things first, let's see if Xylus does it before me. <laughs> I mean, he 17. That hits. Xylus is on fire. He is Six on seven. fire. <laughs> That's another it's man down. <laughs> My throat. Another one at the throat. Yep. It <coughs> pushes. You just hear, <laughs> just hear him just Zylus just take this man down by the throat, the gurgling, and then the gurgling stops, and then Zylus peeks his head up, looking at the next guy. <laughs> I love Silas. I'm, I'm Silas stand number one. <laughs> my best friend. Um, sure is just gonna look at the last guy like, do you want to run? I'm gonna give you the chance. No, oh, he's pissing his pants. <laughs> he's <laughs> he's like he just, he throws down his weapons. He's like, I I don't want anything to do with this. <laughs> just run. <laughs> and Ashira will let him run. Yeah, that'll be his next. That'll be his next turn. That he'll just get the fuck out. We just play that meme song every time we hear "run." Do do do. I'm sorry. Can I just do one more thing? Sure. Silas so tosses out an arm. <laughs> <laughs> just into the road. <laughs> just into the road, like right here. <laughs> like he just. It, you know, it just, this thing's been hurting him, and he just wants to make it stop. So he does it in the rational way an animal does, by tearing it <laughs> apart. <laughs> so now if the other people on the other side want to look over and see a disembodied arm, <laughs> she was going to kind of turn around, <coughs> uh, give it, <coughs> give a slight whistle, and Xylus peers up and looks to the other side, which is covered in blood. <laughs> Can't really tell what's blood and what scales. <laughs> Are you referencing Orange right now? <laughs> <laughs> Well, Oric, it's easy to tell because Oric's right? scales are gold. Zyza's scales are red. <laughs> okay. Yep. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. He is fair. scurrying over to you about here. <laughs> There's a blood trail. <laughs> Angry All dinosaur in coming. <laughs> <laughs> and Ashura is going to take a step over. Going to look back to the guy like, have fun, have a nice day. Have good therapy. <laughs> okay. And she's gonna try to make a shot at this guy. Go for it. We're gonna try. We're gonna try. Why not? That hits. 21 hits. That and the proc. I, it, you didn't need it, but how do you want to do this? <laughs> Let's just see, sees everyone, just, like, okay, having that moment of anxiety, like, okay, don't hit our, don't hit our friends, please don't do this again, and lets it go, and it just goes straight from the dome, it's coming okay. out the jaw, okay, <laughs> just kind of. <laughs> yep, got arrow goes in, one end, comes out the jaw, and just, he just kind of stagger at some moment, and then falls. And the other guys are just like, what the fuck? <laughs> you might want to run. <laughs> yeah, they're, 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 they're going. <laughs> they're just like, they're just like, throwing down their weapons, and turning, and they're just, they're just scattering. <laughs> They'll just find all these body parts, you know, if they come to collect their dead. 
Oh, ba uh, Mr. Bandit guy's dead. I'm just unfortunate. What a surprise. Yeah. Poor Jeffrey, who was just dazed to retirement. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. like an auric but like we could have been friends. Are you are you guys all are you guys letting them run? Um <clears throat> Orc is actually going Well Victor there's there's one guy Victor wants to Okay, well the bandit chief is dead, right? That he was the one that got stuck yeah, in the face. And the other ones are starting to flee because so, <laughs> The second this guy like turns around, I guess the one sitting in front of me to go and leave, Orc is gonna put his blade right at his throat and tell him to kneel. <laughs> 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 We're we're done with these people. <laughs> okay, roll intimidation. Orc. I'll even give you an advantage. Okay. Oh. Eleven, no, he's just like <laughs> Yeah, he just kinda ducks under the blade and just continues moving. Oh. He's I gone. This one? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I guess I if he's moving, I can just switch places with her echo and intercept him. <laughs> We're help him okay. This guy. Let me just well, go. Let me just go orc, through orc this. Orc's not just trying to torture this guy. <laughs> he's trying to. So that's the Sarah's turn. Now it's Orc's turn. The bandits are already moving because we're still we're still in turn order at this point. They're using their dash action to get out of there. So I'm gonna attempt my short shooter feet. Technically <laughs> off screen, technically off screen, technically off screen. This guy they is can... gone. Hey, they, they dashed. They dashed. So that's yeah. six, 60 moving for no, six, six. Yeah. 60? 60. 30 moving normally, but they dashed, so. Oh yeah, uh, I I just definitely can keep keep up with one of them. <laughs> so I mean, yeah. I, Still have the sharpshooter feet. <laughs> but it is coming up to Aya first, so. <laughs> yep. Yeah, okay. She switches places like with her echoes and uh, dashes after one of them. <laughs> so you switch place with your echo. Oh. And then you. dash after one. You can yep. definitely catch up to one of them. <laughs> <laughs> and then what do you do? Well, that's your action in your bonus action, isn't it? So, yeah. So she's gonna just keep up with them. Okay, Victoria, you can still hit them with your Eldritch Blast for a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what you plan. To, that's you what you plan to do. I'm like, you're gonna get away from me. <laughs> you're going for the one that hurt to hit your bird. <laughs> yeah. Okay, roll your Eldritch Blast then. Come on, roll twenty. I need this. 15 would hit 13 damage! <laughs> <laughs> like, this is what you get for hitting my bird. <laughs> yeah, you just see one guy, just the one guy just get hit in the back and he falls over into the grass. <laughs> and the other two right? are just leaving him behind. <laughs> Goodness gracious. So, okay, what is the game plan for the next round so, so I can, so we can get moving on? I'm gonna check, gonna attempt my sharpshooter feat. Against which one? Uh, not the one that I let go because he's good. Okay, so <laughs> so not the one from the green group, but you're definitely going after the blue group. <laughs> yes, because somebody because somebody went to try to hurt my friend. Okay. <laughs> go for it. So I'm gonna attempt it. Why not? <clears throat> so. Three hundred feet are still in range, so yeah. But minus minus five, and if it succeeds, then it's a plus, plus 10, ten to damage. the damage. <gasps> I just want to try it. Go for it. So that that's a miss. Yeah, that's not gonna miss. That's not gonna hit. You have discretion. I mean, it, uh, it it would turn into a seven in DM inspiration. You know, even with the DM inspiration, it's not gonna hit. Yeah. Oh, it's a seven. Why would it be a seven? Oh, minus three. Minus yeah, minus three. three. Not plus. Because the the plus two to my feet, um, to my archer skill just knocks out two points, which is nice. I that see. Way. Never mind that. I thought you had a thirteen. 
I know that would have been cool. Math yeah, is weird. Math. <laughs> the funny thing is, is Real Twenty oh, doesn't yeah, like be doing cause... cool things apparently. It's because I'm, I'm away from my echo. The echo poops. Yeah, your echo is gone. But you're pretty much up there, up to the next to one of them. Yep. So you can strike them if you want to, just to trip them or whatever. Yep. Trip. <laughs> are you actually going for? Okay, are you actually going for an attack, or are you just trying to trip? Trip. <laughs> so roll athletics, then. I think right now we have a cat who's playing cat and mouse. Oh my god. Yeah, he uh, he manages to evade your trip attempt. Okay, summoning freaking Echo in front of him, teleporting in front of. Him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this poor guy. <laughs> I just wanted to capture him for questioning. <laughs> See, some of your other Echo in front of like, him. We're gonna kill these guys. And he immediately stops in his tracks. So you have one guy that's on the ground, and you have another guy that's in front of you, and the third one is continuing to run. For continuing to run is going to be bad for you. He just kind of looks, looks at her, it's like, I just want to go home. Uh huh. What home? You don't have a leader anymore. That's the mean I don't have a home. Yeah, to what family? He, he doesn't even answer. He's just like looking around, like trying to look, trying to find a way out, but he's unsure. Yeah. You're not getting a way out, buddy. Just bring him back. <laughs> He points the uh, rapier towards the throat and ushers him to go back. Yeah, he starts walking back because he has little choice. I guess once in range, he, he she just lets Auric take over. <laughs> <laughs> Auric, uh... I mean, Auric was able to see at least from a distance <laughs> what was happening. Yep. That poor guy going is the guy that she that that uh that Victoria shot is she dead? Is um, he dead? He's not dead, but he is down. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's um, down. Orc actually um will take uh he'll uh, take custody of the guy that uh Aya brings and proceed to start tying him up with some rope. But then he actually asks, uh, hey, Aya, could you check to see if the other guy is okay? And if he's still alive, can you please bring him <laughs> over here? She goes over to the other guy and starts kicking him. <laughs> Without <laughs> hurting him! He's just like... <clears throat> <laughs> Come on. Be a good sport. I'm gonna loot the bodies. <laughs> Be a good sport. still loot bodies. <laughs> Sure <laughs> starts over here with the eviscerated por portions. Oh, well, yeah, oh, she brings out her rope, ties him up, and then she to drag him, like from the like a collar area, so his butt's being dragged on the dirt. Okay, so you drag him to the tomb over, so now you have two of them held captive. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the initiative. Excel. Um, thank you. And we'll be back over here. Zalus is gonna sit next to Auric and just be that extra intimidation factor. <laughs> <laughs> Covered in fucking blood. It's just... These guys knowing that this little monster at least tore out the throats of two of their friends. <laughs> <laughs> and they are not defenseless. How badly injured is the guy that got knocked to the ground? How badly yeah. injured? Yeah, because I mean, I assume the guy who was running in that uh, eye has stopped. He's he's okay, not great. But I assume he's okay. Yeah, the other guy has okay. that, that got so okay mentally, probably not. Shot in the back. Young. Yeah, he's like <laughs> teetering on the edge of unconsciousness. <laughs> right, so he's pretty low then. So Org is actually going to use uh. So once Aya brings him back, right? 
and uh -huh. gets tied he gets tied up properly. Or is gonna use cure wounds on the that guy that uh Victoria nailed really fucking hard. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't had a better bird. So I'm guessing Victoria is doing her little ritual of getting her bird back. Which oh yeah, she would be doing that. Takes ten minutes, so wait, no an hour. What is is five familiar an hour? An hour. Five familiar, yeah, okay. Yeah. So oh. given the chance she would do that as <laughs> you guys interrogate these two. Interrogate <laughs> and loot. <laughs> okay. We, yeah, we do take everything out of their pockets, obviously. Yeah. Probably not much, though, is there, I'm assuming. Uh, in terms of equipment, they got a few stuff. <laughs> but give me a moment. I'll, I'll type it up as you're interrogating. <laughs> okay. So once Or kills the other guy so he's not teetering on the brink of unconsciousness slash death. <laughs> Oric will then slowly start to pull out some of the arrows that got stuck into his body. <laughs> he just kind of sits oh, there and goes. Aya sees that and just <sighs> helps him. Not just, as uh, gently as it should be. <laughs> she's just yanking them. <laughs> like, ah, thank you. Thank you. Ah, thank you. Wow. <laughs> you guys did a number oh, on there's, me. There, there's one more. Grabs it by the leg. It grabs the one that's in the leg. Game. <laughs> <laughs> a little more delicately in the future, but I appreciate it. <laughs> well then, fellas. Uh, apologies for the discomfort, but I think it's all—it's all fair in games, considering what went down. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> Now then, friends, uh, since we have some time to sit here and talk, so maybe we can get acquainted, maybe figure out what's happening here. Are you guys a single operation, or you got other friends? <laughs> Later down the road that we might have to worry about. The one doesn't speak up for a moment, but the other one is like, our, our group is just alone. We don't know about any other, any others down the road. So you just operate in this area, just locally. Yeah. I see. <clears throat> Look, friends, we got a trip to go down to. We would really rather not deal with this anymore. When you say that you have no idea about any other operations, is do you not know of any other groups? Surely you must know about other criminals or other different groups, even if they're not your part of your crew. You must at least be aware of certain territories, no? And you're like, yeah, there, there's definitely other groups, but uh, I tend to work individually. I see. So they're pretty scattered. Okay. Is and they only is this they're only on the roads because. <laughs> Good luck trying to do any kind of this business in the city. Oh, I see. So I guess uh, the authorities keep it pretty tight and clean over there, huh? Worse. Worse? <laughs> you know, you kinda, the one that's kind of in uh, the other one just kind of nudges him, like in the elbow, like. It's like, no, we can't talk about that. You can't. Why? Look, friends, we clearly have shown you an immense amount of kindness considering what you tried to do to us, okay? I don't want to hurt you anymore. That's why I healed you, because I thought you might be near death. All right? Should I just pop one of them across the face? Please, Aya, enough violence <laughs> for sorry. one day. Oh. Can I just say one thing? Uh-huh. Silas brings the arm over. <laughs> and <I> just <laughs> gets one of their feet. <laughs> like... <laughs> little friend, little friend, I, I I appreciate what you're trying to do here, all right? Clearly you're better at intimidating than I am. I'm not trying to intimidate them right now. I'm trying to talk to them like people, okay? <laughs> people who tried to kill us, but still people, <laughs> okay? Makes the displeased sound, takes the arm back. <laughs> I, I appreciate it. Thank you, friend. Thank you. They're very aware of how dangerous you are. That's why they ran. <laughs> <I'm> like, what <laughs> the fuck, <laughs> fuck is that thing? <laughs> <laughs> the baby dragon. 
It is, I guess, similar to my ancestor's kind in some regard. <laughs> now then, like I was saying, we don't want to hurt you anymore at this point. We're all done with fighting. However, it's imperative that we keep ourselves and the party that we're responsible for safe. We're just trying to do our best to know what's going on. <laughs> Especially since we're new to these lands, okay? So, we'll let you go. Alright? No chasing, no strings attached, but you need to cooperate with us here. Roll persuasion check. Uh, gosh. It's not gonna go well. Cause I know you're trying to be... <laughs> he said it's not gonna be well, look at that. It's it was fine. Uh, it, it's okay. It's still really good. Yeah? I guess. Hopefully it will do. Yeah, give me a second. 14. Give me a second. Okay. Oh, so I have a plan B if this doesn't work fine. <laughs> <laughs> good. <laughs> Always good to have a plan B. Uh, but he kind of looks at you. One of them looks at me. He's like, listen, there's just some... Some people in the city you just don't want to get involved with. Like? It'd be nice if we knew who they were, maybe, so we know to avoid them, maybe? <laughs> um, he kind of looks around for a moment. He's like, they're in the middle of the wilderness, so. Yeah. Or, or kind of notices what he's doing and says, I swear I will not tell a soul what you've told me. It's not what you. Like, he's like, it's not what who you tell. It's who's listening. Fair enough. Kind of looks around. <laughs> so I very much doubt there's anyone left. That isn't us. But he speaks up. He's like, there's just bigger crime syndicates in the cities that you should avoid trying to piss off. I see. Organized crime. Very difficult to deal with. Uh, could I know their names? Which... Who are we dealing with here? I see, well, there's multiple families, but... They all kind of run under the same... Principles. Just see. keep just keep your wits about you. you you'll... you'll just keep an eye out. You'll, you'll know who you're dealing with when you see them. Especially if you're going to the capital. Especially the capital. Okay. Well. Is there no names then? He's not giving any names now. Well, it it kind of doesn't help if we don't know who what they're called or who they are. <laughs> All right, I think Orc might have to move to Plan B then <laughs> to get something better because they clearly know something, right? They clearly know they're just not saying. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> if that's the case, then then so be it. <laughs> uh, hold on, I just want to make sure I'm doing this proper way. All right, so I'm going to use Hardness Divine Power to bring back a second level spell slot. Okay. And in doing so, I'm going to use that second level spell slot in order to cast the spell Zone of Truth. Okay. Yay! Hardness Divine Power requires a use of your channel divinity. Which I didn't use. That, oh, you are right, you didn't. I forgot. <laughs> I didn't use it. Yeah. I had the option to not use it. Yeah, you're yeah. good. So, yeah, you're good. Yeah, you cast Zone of Truth. They have to make charisma saves. Actually, everyone in the area has to make a charisma save, but you can willingly fail it. Fail it? <laughs> I guess. Or, or not. No, wait. No. Willingly not fail, fail it, it. Makes, you, makes you go through the spell, but if you're trying to resist it, you have to roll charisma save. Oh, I've willingly <laughs> As yeah, I guess we can really <laughs> that includes you, Auric. <laughs> Auric just fails it. He has nothing to hide. <laughs> Yo, fair enough. But these two are going to attempt to resist. Which spell save do you see? Uh, 14. 
14. Oh my gosh. Wow. But you can tell. That, here's the thing. Here's the neat part about the spell is you can tell they resisted and they are aware that you try to cast a spell on them. Uh, fellas. Just yes. See it right now. Yeah. Look, fellas, I'm really sorry about this, but like I said, the safety of my group, my friends, and this cart and this cart is of the utmost importance. All right. I understand that you have your reasons for wanting to keep things shut, and I understand as a stranger, even my promises, no matter how in honest my intention may be, will not be good. Will not be warm comfort for you. However, unfortunately, as my priority is not your freedom, but rather the safety of my party, I'm going to need those names. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult to keep an eye out for the groups that you're talking about. Because even if I told you their names, you wouldn't know them. You wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Viral history. Trust you can, indeed. Since you would be aware of things here. Oh. <laughs> you oh, you wow. can gather what they're talking about and why they're You're so talking... afraid to talk about it. <laughs> You're talking about Yakuza groups. They just look up at Aya just like You know but that's a good one. Hmm. I know you're talking about Yakuza groups. I don't not know about the specific Yakuza group you're talking about. Just Yakuza? any of them in general. Yakuza? What is Yak Yakuza? Is that Yakuza is a crime syndicate thing, but they also follow special rules, aka they're not supposed to attack innocent people. Doesn't mean they can't intimidate them for money. I see. So we're talking about some high-level organized crime then here. They still do gang wars, though. Be careful with that. And you also don't want to cross the Yakuza because you can be on their hit list and make you disappear. I see. Hmm. Do you think it's important that we get the specific family names or not? Nope. It doesn't it's not matter. Okay. So be it then. Um, if that's the case, Orc doesn't even like take another second. She seems to be at least somewhat of a native here. If she says that there's no need to know, then there's no need to know. Gentlemen, I'm sorry for taking in much more of your time. Perhaps I would, if I could make one more suggestion to you two. I understand that there might not be many options out there, but truly, you got lucky today. You might not get so lucky next time. Please consider getting a more reputable job. If you have a family, you have to take care of especially. And with that, uh, Oracon ties them and lets them go. You know, I'm going to have you roll Persuasion with advantage. This time. Ashura is just going to say, have a nice day. <laughs> I don't think it's going to make a difference, but sure. Okay, maybe it does make a difference. <laughs> they they kind of like take a moment to, once you untie them, they kind of like, you know, they kind of like take a moment. Take a, take a breath. And pretty much thankful they're alive and it just begin to walk the other way. <laughs> I mean, they're walking towards where you left the car, but they're, like, taking a wide berth around it. <laughs> yeah, they're being smart about this. Okay. Well, I guess that's that, then. Ugh. Is everyone okay? He, uh, goes, uh, he, uh, asks for, uh, Xylus. It's like, little friend? He he has he has pulled like all of the arrows out of himself and he's just kind of sitting there with like it hurt. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when Orc sees him, Orc just goes down and uses his last spell slot, his last level one spell slot. <laughs> okay. Cast cure wounds on Silas. Because <laughs> he's literally the only other one who took any damage other than Orc. You know that's fair. So this will happily take back. <laughs> or just seven. like, yeah, or puts his hands on and says, I'm sorry, little friend, it's not a full thing, but unfortunately, I used the last of my strength for that last spell. He still has <sighs> a happy chirp because he feels better. <laughs> Orc is not feeling good. Like, he, he's. 
<laughs> he's kind of like, he's kind of like, ah. Maybe we should just camp here for the night. How, how far until the or... next town? <laughs> a few Still days. A little bit. <laughs> how about we let Auric ride in the back and all of us girls, we can walk. How about that? So at least we get a little bit farther down. Or try, or kind of like tries to get up from kneeling position. It's like, uh, no, it's okay. I can, I can walk. I, I can, I can walk. No. <laughs> they can't walk. Shira just shoots like a mother glare. Like, no, I'm gonna rest. There's your loot. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, she needs those arrows. And she, she'd take... <laughs> Good, there's 84 of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of arrows. Yeah. yeah. I can use those arrows. Um, she'll do her best to split up the the gold, copper, and silver. Okay. So... Shortbows, shortbows count as uh, they are martial weapons. They are simple weapons. Oh, no, in oh, my world, cool. they are martial weapons. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Orc will actually Orc will actually take the the best condition looking short bow, as well as some arrows too. Yeah, yeah. Just I'm save sure her we'll range some... <laughs> uh, Here's twenty to start. That's the best way to start is with twenty. <laughs> Orc, thanks, so. sir. And we'll take the quiver and whatever else he needs, kinda. He says, is, go just pick up the bow and go, I remember using the bow before. I gotta say, um, I got a lot of, uh, healing practice in for all the, uh, um, uh, not so great shots. Um, I had a strange talent for hitting people even when I wasn't supposed to. Uh, no, no permanent damage, though, so, okay. Sure, it's kind of look at you, like, uh -huh. it's like, obviously, the short bows you've used in the Empire are shaped very different from the ones here in Koyobi. But it's still the same principle. I just look in, this, in that orc's memory, it's like the whole time. I didn't like having to shooting more people than the targets. Bye! Ah, uh, good time. Good My time. leg! <laughs> My knee! My knee! My spleen! <laughs> Um, but yeah, if anyone else wants anything, go ahead. Um, I'm gonna probably end up taking some of the leather and making it into scraps. So. At least the better parts of the, the leather armor. Yeah, Aya can definitely use, Aya, you can definitely use any of these weapons if you wanted to. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for a longbow, though. Oh, you're waiting for a longbow. <laughs> yep. You know what? Fair. I'll happily, I'll happily take those daggers. Sharpen them and make them into uh, skinning knives. Dagger, dagger, dagger. <laughs> <laughs> I was just standing there calculating on which family they were talking about on the coming city, so. It's, I mean, obviously it's hard to tell. Yeah. <sighs> Oric uh, looks at Aya. So this, these Yakuza, um, they seem like they didn't even want to talk about them. Should is it safe to assume we shouldn't say that name while we're in the city? Well, you can ask about the Yakuza. You won't get a lot of information other than you know, ah, uh, businesses that will close the doors on your faces. I see. I understand. It's not the first time I've dealt with. Uh, criminal organizations. We actually had to bust a couple of them back during the old, good old days. Well, this is a criminal organization that you don't want to deal with. Oh, I I'm fully aware that there were some pretty nasty ones. But all the same, I'd rather not any trouble. So. Uh, ooh. Go for it. Right, let's get I you on that cart. Come on. I, I is not going to tell no. the difference between criminal organizations in the Empire versus what's here, is, is she? <laughs> if she tried, it's going to go one ear out the other. 
Orc is pretty wise, but he's not very smart, so details like that don't necessarily stick. No, yeah, it's fair. Yeah. He knows enough to ask whether that should be said. He doesn't really... He probably wouldn't be able to, like, remember all their names. Yeah. <laughs> while, even if those that's what it means. Yeah, while you're How? gathering everything up and talking, that's when the car is rolling up and... He's like, everything okay? <laughs> you see, like, or getting, like, help from... Have, how long <laughs> was this is like, We're doing fine. Everything's fine. What's up, Victoria? I got a quick question. Uh, how long will this all be going on? This yeah, probably took... A few minutes at most. <laughs> yeah. Well, then I'm pretty sure I'm still doing the ritual. Yeah. Can't she just do it like in the whole cart? Hour. She can. That's probably where she went to. <laughs> just in the cart. But yeah, I. But just... yeah, what? Yeah, uh, once seeing the orc's condition, the Hoga, he goes into his pack and pulls out a healing potion for you. So like, drink this. Oh no, I couldn't. That's 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 a bit expensive. It's okay. I, I can. Ju I just need some rest. That's here, all. Here, I can make more. Uh, thank you. <laughs> He'll take it. See, it's basically just it's, it's just a basic potion of healing. All right, so that's a two D four plus two. Well, if you're no, because you're using a bonus action, it's the maximum. Or if you're using your full action to drink, it's just the maximum. So it's just the full ten. Okay. As per my Well, I'm just gonna get rid of the the plus five at this point. I don't oh, think anything's gonna David, happen. I asked you something through Discord. Maybe it's okay. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll take a look. Yes, you awesome. can. <laughs> it wouldn't make sense. Go ahead. Bye, yeah. <laughs> cool. I want to ask. Okay. Everyone gets sure. five VP. Okay, so yeah, five gold, eighteen <laughs> silver, and eleven copper. Um, yep. <coughs> Sorry, you're good. Oh yeah. Um, I kind of converses with the father and son about, you know, the talents in each of the, you know, about what's going on with the Yakuza to see what's going... What's going on? Because the bandits are afraid, and that means somebody is not in town. <laughs> you know. Uh... Okay. But they say, like, they know nothing about what's going on in the capital or anything right now, because they were mostly in the south for the most part. So, they have no idea. <laughs> but now that you brought it up, they're a little worried. <laughs> even, even the son, Liam, he speaks up and like, and he's like, my wife and family are waiting for me in the capital. So this is a good time to come home. Yep, yeah, fairly. The glow would rather be there than as than anywhere else, I suppose. Right, as long as we stay out the Yakuza's hair, huh? And pay them as they need to be. We should be okay. Paying protection money? If it, if it comes down to it. Are you sure that is a smart move to do? He's kind of looking at you, he's like, Listen, I don't know what is the right move or not right now. All I know is I just want to get there. Make you and your family leave? Easier said than done. <laughs> As all, after sure, all, just, go ahead. Sure, just kind of whispers something to Silas. Silas just kind of nods in agreement and then looks at uh, Victoria. 
for a moment, and it's just... It's just hear an audible sigh from Ashira, like, I told Oric to get in there, and she's in there now. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, like, Victoria is performing her ritual to bring back Gothic. <laughs> yep. So we'll just kind of write a short little, hey, when that's done... Get the fuck it's out. It's Oric's <laughs> turn. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of just kind of puts a gentle little piece like right against her forehead so it stays there oh, okay. and somehow so I have that so I have the thought of like one of those animations of somebody taking a sticky note of like, slamming it against somebody's face as hard as I can yep. yeah no <laughs> she wouldn't smack you she just kind of sturdily pokes you <laughs> Once, so it stays. <laughs> we shouldn't make post-it notes a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I can Are think they of, not already a thing in this world? I can think of many ways. That's a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, all those wizard books. <laughs> oh, we have... Yeah, it sounds like a bad idea, but then it'd be also fun to do. <laughs> <laughs> got sticky nose in the world. <laughs> Don't die. I'm doing my best. Sometimes it's not the good enough. <laughs> <laughs> but after a little while, you do have Gothic back. And he just yeah, looks I'm, around I'm... confused. <laughs> <laughs> and a note on your face. And you have a note on your face. <laughs> <laughs> and is the the cart's not moving, is it? The cart is moving. You're all moving at this point. <laughs> well, she would stick her head on and be like, "Orcs, you're turning the cart." <laughs> <laughs> no, really, it's fine. I'm okay. I can just you go. Nope. No, as she like she get out as the cart's moving. <laughs> I He's like looking at, he's looking at Victoria, then he looks at Sierra, and I is like, D do I have to? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Very well. <laughs> You're the one that took the most hits. Silas is sleeping on her shoulders. Get in the cart. <laughs> <laughs> the older sibling is starting to appear. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Why are all the women in my life so pushy? Because <laughs> sometimes that's what you need. <laughs> Very well. But as he does so, he grabs uh, Xylus. He just like, not like violently, or just like gently grabs Xylus and carries him off with him. Is like, <laughs> if I'm taking a rest because I took the most hits, then so does he. <laughs> he just goes to the back of the car with Xylus. Xylus doesn't even move. He's just dead weight. He is oh, dead so he's like, so he's like a ferret when they're when he's asleep. <laughs> yes, he's liquid sleeping. <laughs> you physically could just hold him and like move him wiggle, any wiggle, which wiggle, way, wiggle, wiggle, and, and he will just... not wake up. <laughs> <laughs> yep, he is out. very much out of it. <laughs> but yeah, um, Ashira just says that's perfectly fine. Uh... You know, not holding him in when he's dead asleep is always a good thing. <laughs> I do not want to drop my bed. Uh, <laughs> don't want him falling off me. <laughs> yeah, fair. All right, I guess with that, Warwick gets in the back of the cart then. Uh, just uh, he decides to lay down and just get a little bit of rest. And yep. uh, just leaves Isles on top of his chest, I guess. And you continue your journey towards the capital in hopes to succeed on your task ahead. But now you also have the Yakuza to worry about at the same time. So yay, more stress on your plates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. 
And I'm going to go ahead and call it there for tonight. So, woo! Woo! Yeah. That was a good session. That was... That was... I think. Yeah. <laughs> it could have been worse. We it could have all died. It could have been yeah. a lot worse if you guys didn't notice that ambush. Yeah. I, I feel like strategy actually did play a pretty good part this time around. Yeah. Yeah, it did. I mean, I I, I gotta say, Xylus's good rolls. <laughs> I was saying that <laughs> the, the MVPs of this session was probably Xylus in terms of damage. <laughs> yeah, in terms of damage, it's Xylus. Uh -huh. In terms of taking hits, Auric. <laughs> oh, definitely, yes. We were, the, we were the mighty duo. I take the hits, and then he goes up to deal the dead. He's the silent assassin. <laughs> <laughs> he just travels in between. <laughs> I, I, no. All we need to do... I'm sorry, all we need to do is train him to be a rogue. <laughs> but, oh my god, it works. But it, you want you want but um I do see Victoria and Oric make a really good team of Victoria can bring the fear <laughs> and still make it look like Oric is a samurai. Yeah, you know, I'll be honest, that actually worked out really well. Like genuinely that bandit leader could have like knocked me the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, fear fear is a great uh what? crowd control. A, uh, uh, condition. Now wait until you get to fifth level, because there's an actual fear spell that shoots out into a cone in front of you. Oh, I can break more fear. I can. And fear with not fear. only, not yeah, like only. So not only does you uh, do you automatically cause everyone in the cone in front of you to be frightened of you if they fail to save, they have to run away from you. <laughs> yep. uh. Yeah, okay, no I I made okay. Now I have a sole goal for this character to be one of the most terrifying bat lady. Yep, you you're definitely going the uh, crowd control route, which is <laughs> it's really helpful actually. It's actually, very it's, helpful with this team comp. Especially <laughs> especially when she teams up with Oric. Yeah, surprisingly, <laughs> the synergy is strong. Oh, yeah. You're like, hey, I'm gonna make sure you don't get too too badly by having them fear. I can't me. wait for fifth level though, so I can pack twice. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, I, I'd like to get the fifth level too because that would help me out as well. What do you get I, at fifth level? So war cleric, you get. I don't know what I get. You get destroy undead. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's definitely going to be good if we and face third, any and, undead. And third level spells, obviously. And third level spells, and my uh, Dragon Breath goes up to 2d10, which should do a lot more damage. So I can utilize it more as a... as a... as a, as a switch hand technique, I guess. And it's a like sixth level where you can take your uh, Guided Strike and give it to someone else if you wanted to. <laughs> within, yeah, 30, be very within 30 feet. Anyways, yeah. woohoo! Anyway, yep. Yeah. Also, I I do need to look at that. Um, I need to change my spell actually. Yeah, yeah you, you can do that oh, when you level up. Yeah, yeah, it's all planned. I have, I have to look at what spells I can use. But anyway, as a bonus. good session. Let's uh, we'll be streaming this again next Tuesday, hopefully on time. <laughs> but we shall see. I don't see. think so. We shall I don't see. Think so. I doubt it, but sure. But anyway, goodbye, I, I everybody. Don't think, okay, bye. bye.